Yes. Yes. There we go. There we, go. we should have been there. This your camera look way better. Hold up. See, I look, I just upgraded to my phone. Or the the thirteen. I'm kind of looking. So like it's that. the phone. So the phone camera yeah. just that dog on good. Mhm. I don't like spending money, but I'm gonna have to spend me. I know. Oh my god. No, depending on what kind of phone you have, if you trade it in, because I traded mine in and I got a thousand dollars off. Yeah. Let me me hold up, hold up. Now you even you even told Cheapo Depot the wrong doggone thing. Hold up. No, I'm Cheapo Depot too. (laughs) You can give me a thousand dollars. Here, have this phone. Two hundred dollars for real. Okay, so wait, we got to give you the proper introduction. Hold up, wait. Hold on, wait. I need you to like kind of lean, like get away from the phone real quick, then I'm gonna introduce you. I don't want them to see your face yet. Okay. Hold on, wait. For a lady that needs no introduction, the best in the land, the master herbalist herself. Y'all give a long, good, warm applause for blessings is in the building, y'all. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Coach Brian Goes Live, and we are here to celebrate you and everything that you represent. I am so here for you. I'm here for your page. Ever since I discovered your child, let me tell you something. You are a blessing. You are a walking Thank blessing. You. Thank you Bro, so I got much. So, I got so many questions. I got so many questions. I got so many questions. Okay, let me grab, let me grab the other Let me grab my board. Okay, first question. Tell us about yourself. Come on, just, just talk to We family at this point. Tell, tell us about yourself. Okay. Um, so I'm 26 years old. Um, how, years how young, you? twenty six years young. Oh, I'm about to say. I thought you said four or six. I was like, where? We the, we the <laughs> same age, huh? We the same age. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I I honestly I love herbs. I'm into herbs. That's oh, my we, thing. Oh, we know. Into, yeah, I'm oh, into holistic know. health. I'm into feminine reproductive health. Um, I am not about the BS because there's a lot of BS. Um, out oh, here, you know what I mean. Oh, According God. to women, I am. Pro black, okay. Pro black woman, pro black everybody. Mm-hmm. And your um, and your page shows that not a lot of people that's pro pro black look like or act like or sound like they're pro black, but that's a whole nother topic. We might have to talk about that later on today. Okay, the T. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah. Um, my background isn't in herbs or in. A lot of people are like, "Are you an OP child? But you are in." I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm mm-hmm. a psychologist." <laughs> That's what I went to school for. Okay, I, didn't okay, to, I didn't go to okay. school for nothing. Like I didn't go to school right. for anything really like that's pertaining to what I'm doing currently. But mm-hmm. I'm in school now to get the paperwork behind what I know. And you know what's crazy? But keep doing what you're doing. I'm not going to tell you from but you know what's crazy? The more and more we dive into these things, you ever notice how even though to get the proper certification and paperback and stuff like that, even those practices sometimes all the way you have to do it is not exactly, even though it's by the book, it's not exactly the right way to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's some that's some mm-hmm. cool law. That's that's a whole another video I'm gonna make later on. But I just need yeah, to, you gotta come with your side at work because if not, the whole community gonna be like, let's cancel this person because they exactly know. exactly. You, Cut them you gotta out. tread lightly okay. on TikTok. You gotta and tread quickly. lightly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So here's my second question. Okay, because I didn't look, I didn't did some research. So you're gonna have some questions coming from left and right. What is okay. your definition of self care? Uh okay. Um, mm-hmm. I think my definition, I think a lot of people, first off, um, think that self-care is like the makeup, the, uh, the bath, the, the physical stuff or like mm-hmm. the outermost area stuff. To me, self-care is discipline. So when you want okay. that McDonald's, you need to have the discipline and the care for yourself, literally, quite literally, mm-hmm. to not go eat tar, to not go to, you know what I mean? Like to be Talk really about it. informative on and cautious of what you're putting in on around even people energetically mm-hmm. um being very even family members because look yeah, some family, family members, members is not healthy for you out, okay if you have to cut out your mom your dad because they're not right for your mental health then that's that to me is um self-care i would say discipline mm-hmm. that's okay 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 i like i like what is going okay so we're going to go to question number th- on number three. Okay, so the journey of where you are now, from what I'm seeing, you're well-established on TikTok. You have a very beautiful brand. I love your website. I love your products. I love your page. We got a product Thank spotlight you. coming in, like two, three questions. So I'll just be ready because I got a bunch of questions with that. But like, okay. I love I love your journey. I love everything. So tell us about the journey of how, like how you, I know you say you started in, in psychology, but like you're moving in this direction now. So tell us that journey from there coming all the way now and the branding of your page and like how everything just like your big boom and everything like that. Okay. Um, so like I said, when I first started, I was into 
psychology. I was into behavioral psychology to be exact. I wanted to know mm-hmm. why people do what they do, what they're thinking. I want to know it all, right? Now, you so, you ain't every because look. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a cancer, though. This this plays a part. I'm a cancer. And as we started getting into the the heavy stuff, I was mm-hmm. like, I'm a little bit too emotional for this. I, like, if yeah. somebody's <laughs> telling me something sad, I'm going to be crying with you. And that's not... Right. I can't do that you know what I mean so Mm -hmm. I I kind of shifted and I was like well I'm this far now so let me just you know finish it out but then I was like okay I can with this degree I could become a police officer I want to be able to help my community I also want to be a part of my community because I know that things are unjust yes I didn't expect you to say that so you do you still want to be a police officer if so why oh okay I'm I'm a I'm gonna get there. Right, so right. what I did was I was like, I can segue. I moved. I made a move. I'm originally from um, Minnesota, so I made a segue to oh, Arizona. Well, no, I'm in Arizona now. Okay. And um, so I started working um for the federal government as an officer in the government. When I tell you, I like within the the pandemic, within the I mean that was later on, but within just the i feel like i went in when it was the part of the black lives matter movement it and got crazy. those it people got crazy. that exactly those people that were working in those positions came from military they came from city cops they came from all types of things so you kind of get who i was working with i had no idea and then when i tell you i started seeing the connections like between different, th- I, I'm trying to kind of talk in between the lines. Yeah, and I, I, like, I understand. I'm with you. Yeah, like th- certain people are moving up because they look a certain way, mm-hmm. and I'm like, so mm-hmm. I see how this is happening. I see mm-hmm. the, I see no matter where the credentials, no matter the exactly, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Chosen. So exactly, I was like, so pretty much, I'm sitting here like a sitting duck, looking stupid, working with y'all like that. <laughs> no. So mm-hmm. then I ended up going through a health issue where um, a doctor told me, oh, well, yeah, you um, have this lump and this this is going on. And I was like, mm-hmm. what the heck? I've always been into um, like healthy eating. I'm mm-hmm. a Virgo Chiron, so I'm like afraid of not being healthy. <laughs> a much. Virgo Chiron. Yeah. So it's like your debilitations within your um Okay. Within look, your I chart and stuff. That fluid in that, that term. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. But I'm, I'm new to this I, astrology I, stuff. I'm still trying to figure it out. I do not want to be unhealthy. That's something I'm like. I feel mm. like. So as this man is telling me this, he's like, yeah. Um, he literally went like this and was like, you could have um a tumor in your pituitary gland, or you could have breast cancer. Have a nice day. I was no like, what? Solutions. And then I had another doctor tell me. Oh yeah, you you probably have PCOS. Here's some metformin. Have a good day. I was like, no real like, answer. This is, what, this is what y'all doing here? This is what we doing? So mm-hmm. that's what pushed me into being like, there's something going on here. And then I and now I'm interested. I want to know what's going on. What are your why when I walked in, I'm not getting the same treatment as you know. I want to know why. And that's what opened the door to everything. I was like, wow, this is different. And let me, let me really be somebody for us. I hope yeah. that No, I know like you, what you're saying is borderline the same story that I have. Mine more so orientates from my family, my inner workings, and then it's eventually mm-hmm. spread to the community. But I mean, tomato, tomato. I mean, you borderline have mm-hmm. the same story. And I, I definitely resonate with that 110%. And thank you so much for even accepting that calling because let me get, let me tell you something. Many are called, but few are chosen. And like very few actually walk inside of what they're supposed to do. And I'm so thankful for you. And it's obvious, like the table is already prepared for the people that's doing what they're supposed to do in life. So the it fact is. that you started and you know, and like you're fluid and you're very successful and branded, like it gives people like me hope that cause I just started this whole TikTok stuff. I'm not, Mm-hmm. I'm not used to all of this social media stuff and all that. I'm look, I'm a hermit. I like my land. I like my people. I like my animals. I'm chilling, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. But like, I understand in this day and age to reach the masses, you have to be on social media. You have to yeah. be on, on the, you know. So that's kind of the thing I'm still kind of getting used to, like with getting better cameras, working on video editing, and all that type of stuff. But like, mm-hmm. I say all that to say, watching somebody like you and then now hearing the full story and understanding your journey just like makes me appreciate the process even more. You know, yeah. like you look Thank like from the too. outside looking in, you look so well rounded. 
You sound Thank so well you. rounded. You sound so well versed. I love every single video you have on your page because it's Thank not like you. you know how some people you could tell the people that kind of really don't know what they're talking about because it's like they'll say some stuff and hint at some stuff, but they don't really go into detail. Your yeah. page had series of consistency. Yeah. And then actual herbal combinations that actually work. Not just, oh, well, this book says blah, 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 blah. No, you mm-hmm. have to pair these things with the right things. Reasons why, like, when I make my protocols and stuff for people, even though they somewhat, some clients have somewhat the similar symptoms and stuff like that. But why did, why on this thing they have this herb but not on that? And you talked about this because, baby, your body don't need, your body can't handle that right Exactly, now. yeah. You know, but I digress. I'll be, I'll start talking about some other stuff. But, I mean, I want, honestly, should I skip this question? I'm going to skip that question. We're going to go to one of the special questions. Okay. What okay. inspired you to create the slippery formula? That's what, <laughs> okay. I, that's what I wanted. That's, what I, that's one of my biggest questions I've been waiting to ask all night. Okay. So it honestly just started off with chlorophyll. I was like, huh, chlorophyll's cool. I like that. But I had slippery elm. So I was like, why not? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why? let's let's try this. By experience, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Not by experience. That's the best teacher. That's I'm the best like, teacher. Okay, hold on. Wait a second. I know that this is a very soothing, moisturizing herb. I know that it's going to be really mucilage. I know that. I know that it's going to work. But why am I surprised that like? But that you know what I love. Well. You know what I love. You didn't run from like the fact that you said you know it. It involved a certain type of liquid. Cause I ain't gonna go to. I don't want to get shadow banned. But you know, it, it involves certain type of things and, and, and exaggerate certain type of things. And mm-hmm. what I'm trying to tell people is that. Is like don't run from that just because you don't understand it. Because I don't know if you saw it right. whenever I had stitched your video, a lot mm-hmm. of people was having like a war in the comment section, natural mm-hmm. versus what they deemed unnatural. And I'm like, y'all, just because y'all naturally, you know, this, that, and the third, don't mean that everybody is like y'all. And some people, and, and that's another thing too, just because you over blankety blank, don't necessarily mean you're that, you know, you're healthy. That could be some other stuff too. You know Thank you. But, <laughs> that's that's but why if I, I go in the it. comment section and say that, then I'm a then you know, then I'm canceled. I'm just that and the third reason why mm-hmm. I'd be like, I'd be telling people, just message me. Let's have one on one conversation yeah, because I'm very talk. limited by what I can and cannot say publicly. You know, no, because people, yes. you know, they now on another platform, maybe, maybe not, but yeah, 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 we're not mm-hmm. gonna go into that. But no, like I commend you for taking because I I'm kind of watching how I tread on TikTok right now because I want to post stuff like that. You know, I want to talk yeah, about stuff like that, yeah. but I kind of wait until somebody like you who's established, well-rounded, like, okay, they talked about it. Let me stitch it. Let me see how my page interacts with it. Will they ban me? Will they not? Because it's like, yeah, you, you start really talking about something, talk they're really selective. Mm-hmm. Yes. But that leads me to, ooh, this is, a, this is my, I've been waiting to ask this question. Okay, product spotlight. Let's just start off with that product spotlight because I went on your page and I love what I see. The energy, okay. the energy clearing sp- uh, spray and exfoliating body wash. Now, for all mm-hmm. you that, that don't know, her business was founded in 2019, and it's to aid women in holistic health and educate women on the importance of holistic, uh, I, wrote, I write so bad, products. So let's talk <laughs> about your products. Let's talk about energy clearing spray. Let's talk about that one first. Okay. Uh, I have two. I have the Palo Santo and I have the Sage. This your moment, Shad. Come on. T- oh, talk about okay. it. So, talk about it. Okay. So I know that a lot of people mainly, they, they're um, sensitive to smoke. And I'm a, I'm heavy in uh, smudging. Like you, you come to my house, I'm smudging. You leave, I'm smudging. I'm smudging. But I know that other people can't do that. So the way that those are formulated is, um, without giving all the little secrets, you know, um, I honestly infuse the Palo Santo into witch hazel, and in the sun i don't try to do it in um like people boil things you can boil it let me not say that it's bad to boil things but like i feel I like get where forest, you're going though yeah like forest is kind of different i like to you know to sit so it's um infused in witch hazel the palo santo as well as the sage and then i also add in essential oils and then um alcohol just to emulsify the oils into the witch hazel and boom mm-hmm. and it's very it's very good for if you use it the exact same way that you would use palo santo or um mm-hmm sage like a sage it's tank. borderline a tincture process i love how you came it up. is that's smart that is so smart mm-hmm. black excellence i love it okay <laughs> let's you. talk about the exfoliating body wash let's talk about okay that so too. that came because everybody kept trying to use the turmeric scrub that's made with salt on their face and i'm like yikes Please, do not use that on your face like that's too you know that's too harsh so i exactly. I curated that and that one is more so um it's very natural but it's more so on the um side 
of I, I would give it like a moderate because it does have salicylic acid in it so it's going mm-hmm. to actually help with like kp it's going to help with mm-hmm. um ingrown hairs you know at body acne stuff like that um but mm-hmm. it also incorporates turmeric alpha alpha arbutin that word is so hard for me um and i don't have vitamin c in that one but um alpha arbutin is really good for lightening the skin so women who have hyperpigmentation in their inner thighs, mm-hmm. in their on their around their neck, from maybe even from PCOS. Actually, this one's a little bit harder to just do if it's keep diving, you know, hormonal. It looks like you answering all the questions I was about to ask. Just keep diving, keep diving. Yeah, if it's, if it's hormonal, so that one's harder. But turmeric's actually really good for melasma, so that's why I incorporated um, the turmeric in that. Also, if we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty of it. All the way down to the, um, not pesticides, all the way down to the preservatives, it's completely mm-hmm. natural because I know that there's a lot of phthalates, if that's, yeah, phthalates and parabens and pe- uh, mm. formaldehyde releasing yes. ingredients that people are washing in chlorine with, like, don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, there's so many different it's a things lot. you're putting. Exactly. Yes. So there's so many different things that you're putting on your body, which I, I don't feel like people really think that you're absorbing that into your body and that can also play a role in your reproductive health that's why i create i'm glad y'all get to hear from somebody else but me preach (laughs) yeah that really that plays a huge part in your estrogen production in your estrogen production so Mm -hmm. when you um are yeah so that's why i think that you need to have natural products and that's why i say i like to educate women in natural products because you can't really get that anywhere everything that we have is literally a carcinogen, an irritant. Uh, it's, you know what I mean? And you know the crazy part? As I look into stuff, when I first started looking into stuff like that, I was like, well, why are they using it? And then you look at how to mass produce objects, how it's to cheap. preserve mass production, you know, and they just worried about the dollar. They don't give not exactly. one care about your skin. And I'll be trying exactly. to tell people, just like you said, the third kidney is the skin. We have a lymphatic system for a reason. Which yes. is why I, t- I tell people as much as possible. Oh, I'm suffering with this, and then I'm sluggish, and I don't know how to blah blah blah. blah. I need to help speed up my detox. Just go sit outside in the sun. Yes. Let the sun get yes. on as much of your skin as possible. And like, well, I get sunburned and blah 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 blah. There's shea butter for a reason. There's products like yours for a reason. SPF Put that on and go sit outside. All you need. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is like, man, it's it's just I don't I just don't be understanding. It's like they they will they will let all that marketing and social media get to them before they, they even, they wouldn't even second guess buying it. But then people like us, I have my holistic protocols and detoxes. You have mm-hmm. all of your crazy, good, just phenomenal products on your end. And people be like, uh, well, hey, you get the messages. It's just it's, natural. Hey, this yeah, what does this do? Hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, come on, man. But y'all, but y'all sitting there, y'all buy Oreo in a heartbeat. Yes. Uh, like, and don't, don't even don't, think don't twice it. about it. Get hot Cheetos like that. I don't get it. Let's see. Oh yeah. I think I want to ask this one next. Explain to the crowd what a spiritual bath is and why why it's beneficial. Because I saw that on, like, the you posted this in, like, August 2019, I want to say. Mm-hmm. You was posting a lot Ooh, about spiritual baths. Research so, for real. Oh, no, I do Once I found your okay. page and I found that, when they sent me your video, that was, like, what? Chelsea sent me your video about about a week or two ago, I want to say. I don't remember. And I just dove. I just dove. Because, like I said, I'm oh, TikTok. Goodness. So, it's, like, whenever I see people that's, like, resonate with what I'm doing, I have to, like, I need I need a, I need my own sense of TikTok community, you know. It's like, mm-hmm. wait, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing, and got the community going. But it's like to add people to the team to to make people mo- a lot more aware of just like, like you know, like go support these other people, go look at these other people that's doing borderline the same thing. Like you don't have mm-hmm. to go through these other stores and stuff, all this chemical stuff. Let's get it the natural way. Yeah, and I think it's really good also when you're doing like herbalist things. There's just like you have it in the medical field, you have your person who's focused on men's health people who are focusing on female yes. reproductive health people yes. who are specialized yes. in the brain health you know what i'm saying i think this yes. it's the same importance like don't expect me to know everything about your body when i'm specifically talking about your reproductive health yes and and me personally i try to keep my spectrum wide because i come mm-hmm. from more of like an overall holistic healing standpoint so for me right, right. it's like I have to know pretty much tidbits of everything, but I specialize in protocol. I specialize right. in, in, in uh, hormone, hormone, the word always gets out harmonic biology, chemistry. So what's happening Ooh. essentially is I like to know exactly what you have going on. And instead of target, targeting the disease, I target the glands that's probably shut down or degenerative and I help you reverse that. Mm-hmm. You know, so a lot of people just like, they come to me for a lot and I typically tend to help them, but it's like, you know, when y'all be asking for cosmetic stuff and stuff like that, I can help, but it's like, I saw your page and I was like, hey, we need to get home alive. We need to get home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call her now. 
for real. <laughs> and also, you. we're gonna be answering questions in the comment section soon. But I just kind of and I yeah, Chelsea, I'm seeing the questions, but like I'm I'm kind of saving them a little bit for a little later. But we can't answer this one since we're on the topic. Someone in the chat wants to know uh, both of our opinions on the native body wash. I'm sorry, what? The the uh, brand native, the their body wash. Like any opinions on that? Um, I have not, I haven't looked at, hold on, let me see if I can. Well, while she's doing that, what's that again? All I can say is if their first ingredient or second ingredient, second to third ingredient is copal metapropyl betaine. No. You got to say that two more times. I promise you they did not catch that. Say that two more times. (laughs) If the first or second ingredient, honestly, if it's on their label, if it's copal metapropyl betaine, I've done a video on it and I've showed a few of them. Um. That one is a it's a known carcinogen. So if that's what they're using, shut the whole company down. Honestly, y'all, I don't know if I can say that, but <laughs> nah, cancel native, native because, yeah, because you cancel, you actually cancel, I've used their, I saw their deodorant and I like their their clean deodorants, but um, I'm not sure how their body washes. And that, ain't that crazy? It's like they'll have, and that makes me think about companies' intentions or who's really producing what. Because I've I've also seen a few sites that have like you go check their stuff. And some stuff is just trash. But when you look at some other stuff, it's like, oh, well, it's 100% usable. You know, like, right. so who's really calling the shots up there? Right. Or you'll have, like, you. I think that, I, honestly, I really think that it's just about the money. Because you have Tampax, you having um, pesticides, oh, God, and all those that. different oh, things. But then now it's a trend to have organic cotton. And now they put out their orga- organic cotton line at the same time that you're, like, what are we mm-hmm. doing? But then if you go look at it too, because I me and me and my girlfriend, like she switched to a lot of the a lot of the more organic stuff as well. But it's like even when you gotta kind of carefully read those too because they still be bleaching it. Mm-hmm. I be trying to tell people it's like you should not be putting yeah. bleach up there. You know, mm-hmm. but like people don't people don't read, they just see a pad, they just see a tampon and they run with it. It's like, no, mm-hmm. you need to do your research or not even do your research, just read. If you can't understand half the stuff that's on the back of it, just leave it alone. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And if it's a whole line and you start getting into dyes and I was like, now it's like what? too much. For, and that's exactly what I'm trying to tell people because my I stand on two principles whenever it comes down to stuff like that. One, it honestly should be free because nobody has control over how much they bleed, when or what time they bleed. So that stuff should be free. Just like y'all can sit there and give free contraceptives to people at the, the clinics and this, that, and the third. Y'all should make all these feminine pro- uh, products for one free. Two, on top Thank of that, you. why why do we have to sit here and go through 10,000 steps just to make sure we put the right things inside of our body. Who, like, granted, we're the advocates for it, but at the same time, it's like, come on. Come it shouldn't on, be man. that like, hard. Like, it should not be that hard. It definitely should not. I agree with you. But can you repeat that, please? She's, I, I feel like she's talking about the chemical you said. She was like, can you repeat that, please? Coco metapropyl betaine. I told you they wasn't gonna catch that. That's that was a long, that's a long word. I know it took me a second to actually get it. I was like, Coco Mita, who? Like, why did y'all put this in here? Thank you. She said, "What brand do y'all wash your clothes with? Whatever uh blessings tell me to do." Because let me tell you something. I'm going in hustle and buy everything. <laughs> um. So actually, I use the um the there's this lady. Her name is it's Lizzie. Um, products by Lizzie. She has one that, it, and she's natural too. Um, but she has a why can't, laundry detergent that is also very clean. But I have mm-hmm. eczema, so I mean, you know, if I had to recommend one that you could just go to the store and buy, I would say mm-hmm. anything that says it's zero, no dyes, no fragrance, no nothing. Exactly. To say you have eczema, your skin looks amazing. Oh my god! Thank you. See, my products work. No, a hundred times over. Y'all better understand. Go to Husto. <laughs> Go to Husto right now. Go to Husto. <laughs> Let me see. Did we did we talk about the spiritual battle? Did we dive into that? Or no? no, 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 we didn't. Okay, let's get into that. Uh, I kind of forgot the question, but I... You say uh, explain to the crowd what a spiritual bath is and why it's beneficial. Okay, so for me... um, One second. So I, a follower just checked and she said cocoa metapro- coco metapropyl betaine is the fifth ingredient so no i would not recommend native <laughs> oh, that must be um, on your side because look i don't see that on my yeah yeah it's on my side somebody said that um but so for as far as spiritual baths i think spiritual ba- baths are all encompassing i feel like um especially for womb healing not only not only the i mean the herbs you know herbs have energetic their energetic properties as well so mm-hmm. when it comes to women who have ha- had hysterectomies miscarriages 
um, they are just having a hard time conceiving, things like that. I believe that a spiritual bath, when you actually have a spiritual bath and you're actually um, meditating and really putting your intention into the bath, I think that that's, it's very, it's a very healing thing. Um, and I think you said in the beginning, what, what is it? Yeah, spiritual. for all the people that don't understand what exactly is happening, like the process and everything. So, okay, so the spiritual bath is um, where you would, essentially, you cleanse your entire bathroom, top to bottom, you do the same thing I said, you smudge, I'm good for smudging. Mm -hmm. um, you want to clear out the energies and then clear out your bath and you fill up your bath with warm water, you can put various herbs depending on what your um, intention is, you can also have your um, heal, you can have different um, dressed candles, you can add um, different crystals, you can add in different salts into your bath for clarifying. Um, and then you just sit and you, me for me, I will meditate in the bath. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the process of my baths. Okay, okay. I love I love that. I love stuff like that. Cause like I mainly do them for womb healing though. There's a lot there's cause women, we're out here being city girls, everybody's energy is around, everybody's energy oh. is, in it's hitting your creative space. And honestly, that really dampers a lot of people and they're like, I can't be creative. Girl, you are a whole woman. You have you literally create in your body. Go cleanse that, oh. baby. She about to make me run up out this room. <laughs> keep talking. Just keep talking. But yeah, that's that's mainly um, the biggest reason why I would be an advocate for that. Because there's a lot of women who also can't hold babies because of the energetic. Yes. The energetic. Now, question, or the energy can you that's mind if I interject with something real quick? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So to couple what she's saying, y'all, I just, I just would love for everybody to understand that it's not that you aren't able. And I feel like that's the, pretty much the gist of what she's saying. And she's saying that, yes, we can refortify ourselves. But reasons why I try to tell you guys herbs and eating right is the way to go. And like she said, smudging. Smudging is cleaning, saging, making sure that you're cleaning out your spiritual area and your physical area. Why? Because whenever you refortify yourself with the proper protocols, herbs, foods, detoxifying your body and stuff like that, it's not that you cannot have a child. It's not that you were dealt the wrong hands of genetics. It's not, it's not any of that. At the end of the day, we can always regenerate and refortify ourselves. So mm -hmm. I don't want nobody up in here to be like, oh, well, all hope is lost. I didn't try it. This, that, and the third. I always miscarry. You know, you got me and her both saying the same thing. You can. You can mm -hmm. sit here and really take it. The only thing is, we're so, we're so, I feel like our society this, these days is just so disconnected with proper detoxification and mm -hmm. proper regenerative processes. And whenever we stray that far away from what we, our ancestors naturally knew how to do is, you know, yeah, we're going to start running into these endocrine problems, into these hormonal problems, into all of these cystic problems because we don't, we're combining food, foods wrong. We're not taking the right herbs. We expect, we're in this microwave generation, so we expect things to just happen. You know, some detox, like I tell a lot of people, how long should I be on your protocol, blah, 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 blah. Keep going back and retesting. You. And I always tell people that the blood is going to be the answer. Like, yes. do the protocols for weeks at a time. Go get you some blood work. You know, make sure, like, like see what your numbers are showing. This, that, and the third. Because if not, I mean, you could just keep guessing and guessing and guessing. But we have to take somewhat of the technology now to be like, okay, I'm doing this. This is working. And I'm going to track it. Journal down everything, too. Believe it or mm -hmm. not, you have, your body goes and your spirit goes through an emotional calendar. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's, there's moments and seasons where, like, your body is naturally down. Because your body is just built to be naturally down. So what, what does that tell you? Okay, I've journaled. And log myself so I understand around this time, I'm naturally, you know, I'm just unresponsive. I'm not depressed, but I'm just not as enthusiastic as I normally am. Okay, so what is that telling me? I need more vitamin D. I need more mm -hmm. macaroon. I need more water. I need more chlorophyll. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, we have the tools to track and fix ourselves and to reform ourselves. So don't don't lose hope and don't give up, y'all, for real. The reason why she's exactly. on the live right now and why y'all all are watching us right now is divine timing. It was supposed to happen. But mm -hmm. continue. I just had to say that real quick. Yeah, so that, that I mean, I, I was pretty, yeah, I think I was done. Um, but that's pretty much the reasoning I even would recommend a bath. Um, you were just saying, um, different foods and we weren't doing things as our ancestors were. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna say, and we're trying to eat like people who are not like us. Don't get me started because yeah. I could dive into about 30 minutes. Don't get me started. The same thing, <laughs> me and you both. I literally mm -hmm. like, we don't digest things the same. So where they have a pyramid and they're like, this is what you're supposed to eat. You're supposed to have this much dairy. This of, you're not supposed to have dairy. Okay. Yes. So like, you can't digest that. <laughs> Take that off the thing. Take that off of it. We can't mm -hmm. do that. So I think um, they try to make everything fit one type of person and we are the ones that are left out you know what i mean because we can't do and eat and 
and put everything like that on our bodies. There's a reason yes. why we have diseases trying to eat the same as them. You, yeah, okay. I'm and that's why I try to tell people is like, look, nobody's perfect. You got some people that try to go plant based and all this type of stuff, and they slip and fall mm-hmm. here and there, and that's okay. But if the majority right. of what you're eating is what you're supposed to be eating, you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You'll be fine. But at the end of and the day, and your body's gonna react to it. Exactly. Right. And, and like you're saying, representation on the plate matters. You go to Italy, they're going to be eating their food. You go to China, they're going to be eating their food. You go to mm-hmm. a, a Spanish place, they're going to be eating their food. So whenever it comes mm-hmm. down to us, we have to realize that we're predominantly fruits and vegetables. Exactly. So look, if y'all if y'all from Louisiana like I am, I understand. It's a purely meat culture. It's so hard to find. Bro, look, you would think down here in the South they would have way more healthy options. They, bro, no. It's the total opposite. But once you're able to get your hands on a few things and really like, you know, we have Amazon stuff now using those things and getting it going by all means do it, you know, cause mm-hmm. if not, you just, I mean like what you can't, you got to give yourself a fighting chance. Like for me, yeah, my, I always had somewhat of a sensitive stomach, but at the same time, when I look back on what I was eating back in high school, especially when I got to college and I, and I was on my own, I could eat how I want to child, honey buns and apple juice and peanut butter. All Mine was hot Cheetos and cheese. Dude. And cheese. <laughs> yes. On the hot Cheetos? Mm-hmm. Let me write that down. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> but now, nah, bro, like, uh, and like, like y'all said, and Popeyes is like, it's like, let me tell you something. I mean, look, I may not eat the chicken, but sometimes I'll be good. Look, I'll be giving me a little red bean and rice. You know what I'm saying? But it's mm-hmm. like, I, I know that at the same time, what I'm doing and what I'm supposed to be doing, and the majority of what I'm doing is plant based. Because, like, I, I like to tell that to people, look, we're not expecting y'all to be perfect. Like, oh, well, I messed up on the detox. I messed up on the protocol. That's fine. We're, mm-hmm. we're supposed to be the first steps for y'all. Here's your first step. Here's your first try. Because at the end of the day, when people like me, when people like you, we started getting on our journey. That stuff is not, I try to tell it to people, we've been eating a certain type of way for 20 plus years. That stuff is not easy to get rid of. Your body go through severe cravings, severe detox symptoms. And then even after yes. you back the system, you still be craving some stuff from time to time. The detox you know? sickness. What? Hold on. I had no idea. And that's why I tell everybody, like, oh, so I should get this, 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 this. And I'm like, wait a second. One at you a time. Eat all that and you're going to be pain. It's going to be terrible don't yes. do that and that's what i did when i was very first learning i was like oh i'm gonna take this this, 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 this out cold turkey i'm doing it when i tell you i got so sick i was Same. like and, and things and honestly i was very surprised like once i fully recovered because things didn't even taste the same i was like i tried to have chipotle yes. i was like, Talk about I was it. like Talk about we it. be eating this much salt i was like this thing is salty what in the world yes. but yeah the detox like sicknesses is depending on how far the crazy part is it scares people so much because like a lot of people like that do my my seven to ten day detox they don't it's not too often that we get the severe cases but a lot of Mm -hmm. people go from like oh i'm getting dizzy i'm just that in the third and i keep in mind i'm telling like in the protocols and and detox that i have i'm telling them okay you should be drinking this amount of water at this time to come Mm -hmm. back because i have everything specifically detailed to where like this this detox symptom kicks in about right here so let's switch this up and make sure you're drinking this, eating this to where as you're trying to detoxify yourself, it's not as painful as a, of a pro- process to where the right. most you get is a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of hunger cravings, but that's because your body's feeding for that old stuff. And that's simple. Mm-hmm. Once you get past day two, day three, some people, even day one, if they start off the right way, they don't be having all of those problems. But I mm-hmm. tell to say this. I remember whenever I first, same, um, borderline the same thing you did. I was, uh, I had like this, I was actually really, really healthy. I was trying to bulk for the first, first time I just got into weightlifting. I was trying to bulk. Mm-hmm. I was eating Kobe. There's a place called Kobe Japan down here. Beef, shrimp, chicken, bunch of rice all day, every day. Just trying to put weight on. You know, it's my home. Mm-hmm. I'm about to get in this gym and get fine and blah, 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 blah. And then, right. like, I got to a point. It was, like, right It was like right before, not COVID per se, but, like, you know, whenever things were kind of shifting a little bit. And I was like, something, I was like, something is not right. So I started getting myself together. And then I went vegan. I tried. I went mm-hmm. vegan for like some months, but that first month, oh my god, you would swear to God I had COVID. I was yeah, like, like I was sick, and like, and that's why, like, whenever I saw you was promoting uh, liquid chlorophyll, I was like, finally somebody that gets it because I ain't gonna lie. Every day I had a gallon of chlorophyll, like that was the only thing getting me through it. Oh my god, yeah. that was the only thing that sa- it satiates you. It helps you expel it. Now, granted, you go when you're sick or if you're transitioning, you're gonna be peeing and pulling a lot, but that's good. Let it out. <laughs> You know, let that stuff and happen. When people say that they are, uh, when they have, they're like, oh, well, it just makes me poop. I just poop on it. It's because you have all of that poop just sitting in your digestive system and it's in your digestive yeah. system. And oh, then you're absorbing. But look, you're absorbing, absorbing it back into your body. 
So please, yes, you need to keep. I said this go. literally a few days ago. Thanks. Bro. I can tell you. I, I tell we you here. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I, I tell people, yes, you should be pooping. Or they'll say, my skin is breaking out. Yeah, your skin is yes. working. You have pus in your body. And your skin's like, okay, well, let's push this out. Let's push this out. Let's push this out. So I don't, I'm like, y'all got to keep on taking it. Why breaking out? I don't want it anymore. No, keep taking it. What has this lady been all my life? What have you been? What, what? <laughs> I'll be trying I'll to tell sorry. people. Because like, the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I was yelling all the yesterday, so I got a little bit of a sore throat. I don't have no COVID. I'm not sick. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I want to add something to that because I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. Subcontaneous fat is real. The, everything she's saying about, oh, your body has to reprocess it and blah, 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 blah. Where do you think it's been stored at? In your stomach and your subcontaneous fat. There's a reason why when people start losing a bunch of weight, especially naturally and holistically, they don't necessarily get sick, but they go through the symptoms that we're talking about. It's because your body has to reprocess these things. Mm-hmm. All them old Oreos and old, med- even if people be, mind be blown, I'm like, yeah, medications you were on when you were a child probably still inside your system. That mm-hmm. stuff doesn't In your fat cells. Like your digestive tract is three times the length of your body. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people just, they, I don't know. It's like, Maybe they should have paid attention a little bit more in biology, but not everybody able. Not everybody. But no, I don't feel like they taught that. Like the stuff I'm learning, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know like the basics of it, but y'all didn't tell me that I was absorbing this stuff back into my. Y'all didn't tell me. And no, look, I was yeah. angry when I graduated yes. and I started learning about this stuff, and then um, they're like, they said ninety percent of your serotonin is produced in your stomach. In your yes. yeah, in your stomach. Yes. I was like. How I go to school for this and y'all were telling me serotonin, it's only 10%. So I need to be taking care of my stomach for real. I mean your whole body, but like for real, mm-hmm. like your your emotions are really in and predicated. I try to tell your people stomach. I try to tell people. I love that you just echo bro, we just echoing each other and I'm so here for it. People need to see this. People need to hear this type of stuff. I they be looking at me crazy. You technically have three kidneys and two brains. Nobody wanna exactly. hear that. Exactly. Nobody wanna hear that. They think we crazy. Mm-mm. <laughs> Child, we who was been supposed to go live? We was meant to talk we about say great. We're on the same page here. I'm so here for it. Cause see, we didn't blue past all these doggone questions. Now I gotta start thinking of some more questions. Cause look, I don't want cause I, I want to make sure I ask you questions that I knew. That cause look, mm-hmm. I, if you and for anybody else that might potentially be on my live again, I will always set you up for success. I like to work towards people's strengths. So everything mm-hmm. that I, I felt as though you were strong at, and then you even surprised me with some more stuff. Like, I like to ask questions like that because I'm not about to sit here and have somebody on this show and they just I'm asking questions that they don't know nothing about or, like, you know, they, you know, they don't really post about. No, I'm going to target mm-hmm. what, you, what I feel like as though you are really strong at. And then, like I said before, you surprised me. And I love stuff like that. That got coming <laughs> from a whole different background. And, and, I, and when I say, let me get some clarity. When I say surprise, not meaning that you you know more than I thought you knew, meaning that you carry more diversity than what you show. Oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Because it's not a question of your intelligence. Shorty, you you smart. You, <laughs> you didn't took your time and learn this stuff. I don't want nobody up in here thinking, oh, he discrediting black women. About no, 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 no. Get this understood. She's well versed. However, you want to think about it, she is well versed. And look, the products speak for themselves. The content speaks for itself. And I'm so thankful that you took the time to be on this dog on show. And no, we're not wrapping it up. I'm just giving you your flowers while you're here. But I'm just so okay. thankful that you took the time to be on this dog on show because listen, not too many people, a lot of people like to claim, well, we're holistic and we heal and blah, 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 but can't get on this live and talk without a book. Can't get on this live right. and just talking just to understand. Hold like, on, I granted, look, I keep that thing on me now. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I love the fact that we can just exchange, 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 because it's right. it's, it's consumed a lot better for people that's mm-hmm. watching and for stuff that even I don't know or that you don't know. Like, whenever you have an organic conversation like this, that's the best experience to learn everything because it's like, it's organically coming out and being yeah. regurgitated in a manner that we can exactly. both understand for that that's moment, exactly, you know? Thank you. That's exactly why I don't, because I can talk about, I can say um, that chlorophy- uh, chlorophyll chelates the metals in your body. You get what I'm saying? Like, I could say that. But I mean, I feel like I I need to say it more organically. So you really understand what I'm saying. Like, that's the point I'm doing. I say things in a specific way to for people to really understand and grasp what I'm saying. Because you might not Mm -hmm. know that nomenclature over here. And we're talking about binomial. No, let's talk about what this does. Slippery elm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Um, Somebody wants to know um, what you meant by two Mm -hmm. brains and three kidneys. Okay, so when we talk about two brains, simply like she said earlier, a lot of our emotions, a lot of our commands, and especially in our anatomy, starts in the stomach. 
pretty much what you eat is who you are. Not only does your body replace its cells and its organ skins within, I think it's like 68 days, I believe, or three months, you have a completely new body based off of what you've been eating. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember the numbers off my head, but I know that as a functional fact is true. But um, that's where the first brain starts. And then also you have our brain that's up here. So with that being said, the first brain actually isn't the one up here because the signal actually starts down here. Here, the blood vessels that's down there constrict and expand in a manner of sequences that hit the neurons that hit the brain. And then when it gets to your brain, your brain has to correlate what's going on and send signals everywhere else throughout the body. Just like I tell people, your hormones aren't actually regulated in your reproductive organs. Your pituitary gland and your thyroids is what actually regulates. Like, I want to lose weight and gain weight, but I'm having a hard time. Check your thyroids and check your pituitary gland. When it comes out to digestion and insulin and stuff like that, it's not just the stomach. It's the kidneys. It's the adrenal glands. It's the pancreas. It's the liver. It's all of that type of stuff. Uh, when it comes out to the third, uh, the three kidneys. So we have our left and we have our right. And the adrenal glands are like triangular shaped lipids that sit on top of that, which is in charge of your, of course, your um, adrenaline, your hormones. And it helps with the gland, the pituitary glands and stuff like that. But at the same time, the third, the third kidney, uh, the third kidney is the skin because we have what's called an emphatic. Well, for some oh, when I see this, but I don't understand. Okay. Hold on, your sound went okay. out really quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody was trying to call me, and I, I, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me do that real quick. You can go off of here and come back. Okay, I'm right here. I'm back. No, I just did the, the little multi-screen thing, the little multi-screen uh, oh, okay. real quick. But um, the third, the third skin, I mean, the third kidney is the skin, because like I said before, I might rub some feathers when I say this, I don't believe in the immune system. I believe in the lymphatic system because it's not really that. And look, and I understand, you know, some people, well, there's science and blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying that is wrong. But what I'm saying is replace the ideology of immune with lymphatic, because the only reason why we get like I was trying to explain the other day, herpes, for example, our bodies naturally produce herpes. But when your lymphatic system does not have enough regenerative strength, or enough fluid to get the septic system rolling and get that stuff out of you when a foreign object, aka whoever you had sexual intercourse with, has a stronger variant of that and your body isn't strong enough to get it off, guess what? It goes away. You'll be surprised how many people had a latent and or potentially growing strain of herpes that wasn't necessarily active in their body and gave it to somebody else who, who then their lymphatic system was weak. They caught herpes, but the other person is clean. But their other person's lymphatic system is stronger. So it's like, it's not that we really have a immune system. We have a lymphatic system because when you really break down like the lymphatic, like, you know, what I'm talking about the lymphatic trunks. Oh, look like you're loading. We back? All right, we good? I, I got it. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, good. There you go. So, yeah. And, and you know what I'm talking about? We have what's called lymphatic trunks inside of our bodies. Believe it or not. Yeah, we have a lot of blood vessels and veins and stuff like that. But it's a lymphatic system. Just think about like a sewage system in the city. You have all these things going underground in these drains and all stuff go to one septic tank and it comes out this mm -hmm. way and gets purified and goes out the other way. You have those same exact passageways inside of your body. body. So whenever your lymphatic system gets clogged or degenerated or paused or something is wrong with it, then you're more susceptible to STDs, to all this other type of stuff, to getting sick. Like, And, I, and look, I don't want to ruffle no feathers because I know COVID is hitting everybody. But at the end of the day, if you really have a fire lymphatic system and you're taking care of yourself, you could be in a room full of people with COVID and you won't get it. I'm pro I'm an example. I'm just going to be real with y'all. I don't, I'm one of those people. I don't wear my mask. I don't, I don't, unless I really have to in the stores, I don't wear it, you know? And then it's mm -hmm. like, I take care of my body and it's like, and if I feel anything coming on to me, I'll be trying to tell people what's wrong with some elderberry and some chlorophyll. What's wrong with some vitamin D? What's wrong with some citrus? A little fruit? oregano oil. Let's talk about it. What, what about, what's wrong with putting some time in a pot, boiling it, putting a towel over your head and letting them, come and on, then, mom, let's talk about know? it. Thank but you. Like, uh, but, but then people are like, well, the variants and the blah, 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 blah. I'll put it to you this way. You got people that got the vaccine, right? Oh, I don't want to get shadow banned for this. You got the people that got the vax and all this other type of stuff, right? But they're the, if you notice, if you really follow statistics, those people are the people that's really contracting and having the worst symptoms. And on top of that, on my Instagram, I got shadow banned for this, but I'm going to say it on here because I'm not necessarily doing the same thing I did on Instagram. I'm also just talking about it. I posted the actual FDA and CDC press conference. The live international press conference that I screen recorded, it was like two hours long that I caught before I ran out of phone memory. They even said themselves, if you're above this age, do not get the vaccine. If you're below this age, don't get the vaccine. This vaccine actually doesn't work against this uh, mutant. This doesn't work, work against this variant. This actually doesn't do this. This is actually causing heart problems. This is actually causing endothermic reactions. Like, people are not doing the research. At and all. I'm sick of it. Like even, and that's thing. even if you was to get COVID, it's not something that you can't beat. Now, granted, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's easy at all because something that strong getting inside of your body and it happens. 
it happens to the best of mm-hmm. us too. But at the same time, there's protocols and things that you can do to take care of yourself. Oh, wait, hit them. And then like prime example, where they need oxygen and blah, 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 blah. Contrary to popular belief, you don't really get oxygen from your lungs. You get it from your blood. Reasons why Thank liquid you. chlorophyll. Thank I be you. trying to tell them. I be trying to tell them. Get you some liquid chlorophyll in your body. Guess what? You can run miles. Miles on Look, miles right on miles. over. Thank you. Yes. 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 Let me let yes, me stop. Yes. I could be talking about this all No, me... I was I've been saying that. I was like, you guys are literally being well, not you guys, but I'm saying like you you're literally being suffocated from the inside out. Yes. So they're like, oh well, yes. aspirin works. Um aspirin works to help like to help people breathe. And I'm like, duh, because you're thinning out their blood. Like, duh. Talk about Hello. It, dog. Dog, like, talk about it. Their blood isn't coagulating and yes. literally stop hitting them. Duh. Which brings me brings me to a question because I found out about this homeopathic practice maybe about a month ago. I follow a guy on YouTube called Rip Right HD. He's a beast mm-hmm. with the calisthenics. So I didn't know there was a thing called wet cupping. Now do you know about that? Uh cup uh, cupping as far as like um on your back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Okay, so but here's so here's what wake up in is. It's that same process, but mm-hmm. they micro tear your skin, not to where like they cut through you and you bleed. It's not. It's nothing like that. It's the equivalent mm-hmm. of like you getting a prick for like uh you know how they do the insulin diabetes stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it, it's not even really that bad either. It's like a little scrape, and they you know they cup or whatever all the little spots where they do it at. And like I like to tell people, believe it or not, whether you're on your stomach or your back, a lot of people have a lot of heart attacks in their sleep laying down because your blood settles. And the alls and toxins flow to the top. So essentially what they're doing is they're going to cup you with those cuts that they made. And then like whenever they pulled off the cup, and y'all can go look it up, go on YouTube and type in rip right wet cupping. He's a short black guy with a bald head. Like you can't, you can't miss him. Like it's, he just posted the video not too long ago. And like whenever they took the cups off and like, you, you know, like most healthy blood is like real smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's not mm-hmm. too thick and sticky. So whenever mm-hmm. they did that and they pulled it off and it was dumping it, it was like jello. Oh it yeah, like Jello cr- blood. I I've seen that. Yes. I've seen it. I didn't. I haven't seen. I just was scrolling on TikTok, but I saw like a bunch of blood out of it. And then they, as they uh, pour it out, it's like Jello. Yeah, it's yeah and that's- essentially, it's like the lymphatic cystic waste that we was talking about. All mm-hmm. the stuff that the kidney. Because believe it or not, y'all, for all the people that's watching, you're not really peeing out pee. It's just a diffusion of the toxins that come from your blood. That's all pee mm-hmm. is. Yes. So essentially, they're grabbing that same lymphatic waste before it even gets to the kidneys and they're pulling it out. And here's the crazy part. Because you know how they say black seed oil cures, every, cures everything but death. Guess what they mm-hmm. coat the skin with after they're done? Black seed oil. Black seed oil. And then after that, because like they can't, you can't eat meat or anything like that because it messes with the blood in the process or whatever. But for like a day or two, you can't eat meat. But he's, from what I know, he's um he's Muslim. So I don't think he really eats a lot of meat to begin with. But, um, mm-hmm. ooh, excuse me. He um he had kept us going with like his journey and stuff like that, and like you could have seen it in his face, his skin was clear, his eyes was like a, a a sharp brown, and then he like he posts his workout videos almost every day. His muscle ups was like fluid, like he was running. Like it it makes me want to like I, I've been looking. There's not too many people out here that do it. I would literally have to travel to do it, but oh my god, when mm-hmm. I can, I will. Oh, I will. Mm-hmm. Man, that stuff looks it, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna look into that too. Cause at first when I first saw it, I I hate I hate blood. I'd be like, oh lord. I feel you. Oh, I have a friend that's just like that. So when I saw that much, I was like, oh okay. When you I really might look at it though, like, right. yeah. Oh, for the lady that's asking, his name is is I'm gonna type it. It's called Rip Right. Let me pull up Rip Right HD. Yeah, it's wet. called wet cupping. Yeah. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Some people say y'all need to do more lives together. I'm enjoying it. Look, I'm enjoying it. It's true. It feel like I'm me too. I'm like, like finally somebody that gets me. I swear. I, I talk to all my it. friends, and they're like, "Okay, blessing, go For around real. there with your olive oil." I'm like, "Girl, <laughs> <laughs> you, guys, you guys need to listen." Mm-hmm. So, any questions you got? Because look, we on fire. We might as well keep this going before we hit to the comment sections. Um. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Because I also, I checked out your page too, and I was like, okay. But no, you, so you have, this is kind of off topic, but you have mm-hmm. land, and you said that you have animals too? Well, what no, that's your- that's my goal. That's my oh, goal. Okay. I have like, okay. I don't have that much. I have like a little backyard, but my goal is to have like a, a real like land, like acres and acres of land and have same, my own greenhouse. Yeah. Same, same here. Have you started okay. with your seeds yet? I have not. Okay, no, I let me have. give you some pointers. So one thing you need to always look out for, if you, even if you uh if you're collecting seeds from the food that you eat, that's perfect. But if not, heirloom seeds. 
Get okay. heirloom seeds. Heirloom seeds have a patent on it to where they cannot be genetically modified or altered. Those are the those are the seeds. Excuse me. Like okay, prime example. So you know how we're not actually eating the first generation of beans, right? Our bananas. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. we're like we're in like the seventh generation, if I'm not mistaken, or something like mm-hmm. that. But the heirloom seeds is the closest to the original uh, first generation. So now, granted, we're not gonna. I don't think there's ever gonna be a day where we're gonna have the Adam and Eve fruits. As bad as I wish we could have right. that, I don't think we'll ever have that. Right. That, that was a whole nother type of environment, a whole nother type of air. You know, but mm-hmm. at the same time, the heirloom seeds are the ones that lit- are literally patent. They're patented, and you cannot alter them. So what happens is you get the closest to the original generation uh, of the seed, and then whenever you grow it, you know, you grow it organically as possible. But I will say this. If you're not a fan, or even if you, you're you trying to regrow something to get a seed from it, you know how sometimes you got to cross-grow something to get a seed from it? Get you mm-hmm. some aloe vera. Get some aloe vera, and you're gonna coat the um the bottom pieces of like whatever part you're sticking into the soil, coat it mm-hmm. with it. Because what's happening is it's gonna teach the stem cells in the plants to actually reach and sprout and root out a lot quicker, a lot more healthily. And then you couple that, you get you like some bananas, uh, preferably some plantains over bananas. But you um you put that in like a mason jar with some water, right? Shake it up, let it sit for about. All you can do it with vinegar, uh, let it sit, but preferably water. Um, you let it sit for about like let's say like a, a day or two, maybe something like that. You take it out, you put it in a spray bottle, and or you can just pour it straight into the soil. But like that's re- the potassium the potassium that comes with that is amazingly good for the plants. And it'll help okay. you grow ten times faster. Because See, I'm so with all this information. I'm like, tell me. Tell yeah, and I'm only saying that because we have to compensate because the soil is even the soil isn't the same as what it's it exactly a lot of people don't understand. It. And then like where I'm at in Louisiana. We're on slavery soil. So in the midst of our soil already being contaminated, there's a lot of blood in our soil Mm -hmm. from the hangings and all that other type of stuff. I'm sorry if y'all not, you know, y'all don't want to hear all that type of stuff, but I just have to be real. You know, it's like our land is coated in a lot of death, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, The first one, Ireland with an H, H H-E-I-R, not not air. I'm sorry, y'all. But, um, but yeah, our land is like, it's soaked in war. It's soaked in slavery. So granted, it, 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 it explains a lot about why our city and I ain't gonna say why I'm at because I ain't about to have no people stalk me. But it explains because like literally not even Main Street from my house is like not even a few streets down, not even not even a few miles down, and there's still plantations on the Main Street mm-hmm. with the actual slave graves and stuff like that. You know, so like that's we're not crazy. Too... Yeah, we were one of the where I'm at. We were one of the biggest slave transports in history, and they want to wonder why the area is how it is and the people are how they are and all that type of stuff. That's why I stay. Look, I stay to myself. I try to help the community. I don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I'm doing what I can because what y'all not about to do is kill me. Right, right. She the, said, "What's the best salt to buy?" Exactly. What's the best salt to buy? Start off with compost. Start off with compost. You want to get you some compost and whatever uh, salt. It, start planting things that's native to your area, because I'm in Louisiana, so we have uh, the agriculture for us. You could pretty much grow anything, but that's mm-hmm. one of the cheat codes that we have down here. But I don't know where you're at. The person that's asking this question. Arizona but, is. See y'all oh, drive. Yeah, well, what, we... somebody that commented, but Arizona, for example, y'all better with like cactus, and that's the that's the amazing part. A lot of tropical dry plants that y'all have flourish so well out there, but that just mm-hmm. goes to show how well they are with porous vessels. That's why, see, and that that all ties back to what chlorophyll, chlorophyll, because like the reason, like when you think about, I broke this down like last week. I try I try to tell people the same. It's not exactly the same, but it's parallel how our biogenetic. DNA and RNA when it comes out to plants and humans are almost the exact same coding. It, People, yeah. bro, it blows my mind. That's why they was like, well, whenever you have drink chlorophyll, why does it work and why does it blah, 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 blah? Think about it. We give out oxygen. I mean, we give out uh, carbon dioxide so they can give us oxygen. It's a harmonious mm-hmm. balance. With that it being is. said, we both require copious amounts of water. And then when you replace our blood with chlorophyll and vice versa, it has almost the same DNA molecular structure. The only difference, yeah, the only difference is iron. We have iron, they have magnesium. Oh. Talk about it. That, thank That's you. That's literally the only difference. You know what I'm saying? So like, whenever like, like, oh, if you switched it, we would be green. Was that mm-hmm. again? Well, no, no, no. We said that again. Said again. I said the same thing. I said if again. we switched it, we would be green and they would be brown. Like that's exactly. literally the, the only difference. Why? If y'all go look back, I know we're getting a little deep, but if y'all go look back at a lot of ancient scripture, a lot they of they were green. Like there was green, and people was like, "Oh no, they just didn't have different paint." No. Why? No. no. Like, oh yeah. my god, oh my god, we here, we so here. Cause like mm-hmm. there was a there was a picture I saw, and I had to do some research on it. And I I thought it was a picture from recent date. It was pictures from like eons ago. It was a mm-hmm. red, um, not a leather. It was like a red, like a, is I can't even describe the material. It was like a reddish, like kind of metallic, but 
leatherish looking um material on the shoe with magnetic strips at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, what they know about magnetism back then, but like apparently when you do further research, they said it helps detoxify the body. On top of that, it helps with them like walking on the solar plane of the earth and stuff like that. Like they was so in tune, it don't make no sense. And it makes me it, I just be fathoming and I'm just sitting there like, how do we get so far away from that? You know? It'd be blowing my mind. It'd it really be blowing my mind. Mm-hmm. That's, I, I agree with you. But they actually also used to draw um, themselves green. Like, if you look at hieroglyphics, it's, mm -hmm. there's, they're also in there green. And I'm like, when I saw that, I was like, it makes sense. It, it does. It makes a lot of sense. Because they wasn't eating meat. They wasn't eating all that meat. They was at all. And then even they had, they had even um, breatharians, people that would live off of the breath, of a, just, which blows yeah. my mind. How or the sun, to too. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's kind of, But then... It, it makes sense because whenever you go look at people like the true people, the monks that live in like the, the tropics or the sub-Saharan areas, what they eat and drink mm -hmm. all the time is strictly that coconuts, mm -hmm. cucumbers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it makes so much sense how you can sustain it yourself does. really off of one thing. But people are not ready for that. People, You start telling that to people, well, I need this and I'm on this medication. No, I have to, I have to, yeah. You my can get there. Here. You say what? I said, they be like, I have to have my Pepsi every day. Okay. Bruh, I'm so glad my I got my mom off of that stuff. Because, look, my mom used to be one of them people. She needed a root beer. She needed a Sprite. She needed I was like, uh-uh. I, I am. Cut that off. I'm still trying with my dad. He's like, I need a Coke. Mm -hmm. I'm like, literally, dad, that stuff can remove rust off of a car. And you put that in you your body. You do it to your... Yeah. Not only... It's carbonated. So, now it's just adding air into your body. Like, come on now. Right. People don't be understanding. People don't be yeah. understanding. The very thing that your body's trying to expel, you put more compressed versions of that inside your body. Think Literally. about it. Dude. Think about it. These questions. We can start asking our questions now, too, if y'all already. Because I, I see this comment section going crazy. Okay. They say, well, at least on mine, it's going crazy. I know it's going crazy on your end. You got a, a bajillion followers. <laughs> I feel like when I go live, people just, they, they, they just sit in there like. <laughs> like, what, she, what you be talking about? I haven't caught one of your lives yet, but I will. This is, this is, well, I specifically will talk about like the last one I think I talked about, Slippery Elm and Marshmallow Root. Um, sometimes I'll talk about PCOS. I'll talk about endometriosis, fibroids, cysts, things like that. Um, different products that you can use to clean up your, um, like to clean your, the inside of your body, things like that. Wow. Um, I do okay. have a question. Somebody said, what are some herbs that are good um, for, and herbs and vitamins that are good for, the, mm -hmm. for your blood? We've already uh, uh, talked about chlorophyll. Uh, well, you, you about said, uh, well, I was gonna say the one that I know. Oh, well, then you you go ahead, you go ahead, you. Cause look, I had, I had it ready. <laughs> the chlorophyll. What? Well, well, that too. But you just do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. So my my biggest two is gonna be red uh, red clover, the herb, and um, chlorophyll. That's the two things that I really like. Let me look. I mean, you can go ahead if you have any. I'm, Looking at my little drawer here. I actually made this this blood purifying combo not too long ago because I've been studying how to do uh, herbal parts and teas and stuff like that. And I, I ain't gonna say all of it because I'm in my I'm in my my little area right now. Where I've been making stuff and just mm -hmm. this, that's how I know it's meant to be. Just so happened half of the stuff is right here. But I'll tell y'all this, and it's on it's in the link in my bio too, y'all. Go get y'all some of this apparel. Go get y'all some of that and Padika seed. Now, Grant, I, I, heard of that. I tried it on myself. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I felt like shit. I did. But whenever it all the stuff came out, because you'll be surprised what's still inside your body. But granted, I have mm -hmm. been working out a lot more. So my lactic acid level is a little bit higher than normal because I'm really putting mm -hmm. a lot of stress on my body. So it had to push all that other stuff out. And Lord, the way my body looked whenever I went through that, it looked amazing. But anyway, <laughs> like whenever I, I kind of like, you know, it ran its course and I kind of lowered mm -hmm. the dosages a little bit. Oh, my God. Like, like, how can I put it? Like, you know, when you first start drinking chlorophyll and you get past that first sick hump and how you feel like mm -hmm. fresh and new, that's essentially what it did. And oh my God, I, let me tell y'all something. The link, and like I said, I have this stuff in my bio. If y'all go click in my bio, like all that, you can find that inside the, the link. But like the formula that I'm working on that I'm almost done with, because I'm, I'm doing a circulation protocol. For y'all that don't know, I do protocol. So PCOS, circulation, all that type of stuff. Just click the link. It's, it's right there. All the stuff, step by step. PDF uh, digital downloads. It's gonna guide y'all through the entire way. But bruh, cause I really started to do it, do this for um a lot of people been coming to me. A lot of men actually been coming to me with like ED and testosterone issues. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it's not because you know they tell them well lift weights and eat this and blah blah. It's like, well, it's actually your blood and your hormones. Right. If you get that in order and you eat right on top of that, 
you can have the crazy amount of, of test and see like prime example my my levels was fluctuating when i was younger because i was eating like crap but mm-hmm. i couldn't I, bro look i couldn't grow a beard like granted my hair always grew long but like i couldn't grow a beard my hair would be up and down you know i started getting like i'm, I'm 26 i started getting gray hairs earlier i started switching all that stuff around and started mm-hmm. taking the right herbs and stuff like that look at me now i'm more athletic now than i was at 17 like it don't make no sense but i mean when you do right by your body you do right by yourself exactly exactly i'm here for the question though y'all could definitely keep that going they say what kind of water do you drink me personally as a male i always tell people Distilled water, even though it's for everybody, is really healthy for uh for men. Distilled water is the way to go. Why do you? Okay, so we have a different view on that. Why do you? Why do you say that? Go. Okay, so I say this. I say what? Even though distilled is number one on my list, spring water is right underneath it. But I say okay. this because the distillation process for me is something that fascinates me. And then whenever you look at what it's doing inside the body, because I, I also couple distilled water with chlorophyll. And I'm going to say why in a few seconds. But when you think about the distillation process, they take waters that have a whole bunch of impurities, right? So the distillation mm-hmm. process, you have one uh, you have one tank that has like a tubular construct that goes to another tank. So mm-hmm. essentially, they're collecting the purities of the water and leaving the impurities down with the way they compress the water and heat it. All the impurities sink down to the bottom. Now, granted, on the scientific level, yes, it does strip a few things away. And when you start drinking that form of it, it kind of strips things out your body. But it's 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 detoxifying at that process. But you counterbalance that with, like I said, chlorophyll. Mm-hmm. Say that again? Yeah, you counterbalance that with chlorophyll because the same process that chlorophyll does, the still water does the same thing, but you're enhancing it while also enriching the blood. Now, granted, I always tell people, you can, and, and I, like I said, I could get a little big flag for it, but that's just the hill I choose to die on because I learned this from Dr. Lila Africa and that dude just... I do just know it. He just know his stuff. But um, at least for at least from where I stand, distilled water is something that really. I mean, even though it strips a lot, it does a lot of enriching as well because it speeds up all of the glands that you have inside of your body. If they're degenerative, if they're if they're broken down, if they're paused, it actually instead of because a lot of people say, well, it pulls the minerals and the natural stuff from your body. What they're not saying is that is true, but they're pulling they're pulling the unused minerals. The things that's inside the body that's not actually being pulled properly. So whenever it comes down to the blockages and the lymphatic pauses and stuff like that, it targets that rather than the actual minerals and vitamins that you have in your body that you use to function. Essentially, what your pituitary and your thyroid gland are already doing automatically. You're just giving it some okay. help. That makes sense. I understand what you're saying. That's what I was going to say because I was like, I wonder if he's adding stuff to the water because mm-hmm. that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I drink, don't get me wrong. I drink it bare too. But it's just mm-hmm. like I'm the journey that I'm on and how I like to do it. I promote it with chlorophyll water as well because it's just mm-hmm. one of the best compounds ever you could put together, especially for men that have like prostate problems. Oh my god, mm-hmm. you y'all need to be on distilled because what's happening is a lot of that fluid and that scar tissue is just been is sitting in there. So that distilled water and that chlorophyll is gonna go in there. And granted, like, well, it's making me pee a lot and it's blah 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 blah. Well, you rather use it or lose it, right? Because look, we need to keep what we got. They're already trying to take it away from us, right? Right. I'm looking for some more questions. Um, and the I questions think... are rolling in. You could you could do whatever questions you got. You could roll them because I'm I'm trying to scroll up and see what I missed. Somebody said, "What do you guys say to doctors that say chlorophyll causes sun rashes?" I've never seen it on. Well, I got a good answer yeah. for that, but you could you could start. Um. So my answer would be, I, I mean, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me think of my words. I gotta <laughs> say them. Hold on. Okay, so it, it is going to cause your skin to be not more sensitive for skin folk, but you're going mm-hmm. to absorb more light. Mm-hmm. So for you, who has who melanin-rich people, mm-hmm. that's very beneficial to you because now you're going to be able to take in the sun and actually turn that into the hormone vitamin D, and that's going to help other things for you. People who are don't have the melanin richness in their skin, that's going to make their skin more sensitive or, mm-hmm. um, you know, if they're going to absorb more light, which they mm-hmm. aren't meant for. Therefore, mm-hmm. <laughs> therefore yeah, it's not going to work all the time for specifically them. Or that's why they have to use uh, sunscreen, things like that. Mm-hmm. So that's what I would say. You're literally absorbing more light. You're literally becoming a plant and absorbing yes. more Yes. into your body so yeah it, it does make you more sensitive to the sun i want to can i add something to that mm-hmm. okay so for even for two things because i because I, I feel like i just need to address and i'm not saying you're not addressing this but i just want to say this because a lot of people are ignorant to what real melanin is do understand that melanin does not determine 
to full, it doesn't fully determine how light or dark you are. You have albino people who have way more melanin than the darkest person in the world. I will say that. But at the same time, what she's saying as far as like the conversions with like the, the hormonal vitamin D and stuff like that, you guys have to realize, like we said earlier, with the third kidney being the skin, you have to realize that it's finally functioning. It's finally opening up. It's finally releasing. It's finally absorbing. So it's not, it's like, it's like, it's like the equivalent of not ever running a mile a day in your life. And then you just get up, I'm running three miles. It's like, bro, you're going to go through hell because yeah. your body hasn't really experienced that yet all the way. You know, but mm-hmm. I, that's all I want to say. That's as, also as, what as, I say when women um, say, oh, well, chlorophyll makes it easier for you to get pregnant. That's not the case. It's literally that it's oxygen, oxygenating your body and you're healing your body. And now it's able to actually do what it was yeah. meant to do in the first place. Yes. So you literally broke it down to a point where it wasn't able to correctly function. Now you're starting to eat healthy and supplement with chlorophyll mm-hmm. or whatever you're supplementing with. Mm-hmm. And it's not easier for you to get pregnant. Well, it's, it's easier because you're healthy. <laughs> you know we get what, what you're saying. saying. We, we get okay. what you're saying. Yeah. So that, that's but what I'm, I would say about that. But y'all, and look, take, look, I know a lot of people, we might be speaking gibberish to a lot of people, but I'm trying to, we trying to tell y'all, bro, everything that we saying is tried and true. We really take our time and study these things. And we're not about to sit here and fool y'all and swindle y'all. Cause a lot of people, they be like, oh, well, we don't know if we could trust this, that, and the third. And that don't even sound right. Y'all got to realize we live in a day and age to where, they want you, and they have designed it for you to be living in a degenerative and paused state, period. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it. PCOS is normal now. Cancer yes. is normal now. That was not like that 100 and 200 years ago. That was not normal. Did y'all even know that the pharmaceutical industry, before it turned into Big Pharma, was a bio... It was a, uh, come on, come on, Lord, him with her. Um, it's a botan- it was initially botanical-based. They bought them yeah. out. Yeah, and then they, they, they them cut out. them out. and Exactly, and then they said, oh, well, we don't have enough research on it. That that blew my mind when I found out that the key ingredient to make aspirin was from the white willow tree. But you look up white willow, and they say, well, we don't know about white willow. We don't know. Blind. But that's your ingredient is aspirin? You know about white willow? Stop saying to me. I literally, I, that through me i was so upset yeah bro and it, and it makes me not and, and i and i i feel that because it's like when you really it's it be it makes me ask like why why like is money really that important to y'all yes is it really that important that it makes no sense it's like bro i'd rather make a living doing what i'm doing now helping people healing people i don't want no returning customers well i mean i do don't get me wrong i do but at the same time i don't want you coming back to me worse than what you was when like when you first came to me you know, what I'm let's saying? be honest. At this point, there's so many people who are unhealed that it's really a business to be oh, healing people. So yes. if you don't come back, there's yes. over a billion people out here that I can help. Really? Yes. And it's, and it's like, I just need people to understand that it's like, bro, look, as, as much as they like to paint that this is the new healthiest trend and blah, 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 blah. Because I remember when they, they was pushing all these diet fads about like how meaty fats was the healthiest for people and you shouldn't actually you yeah, should stay away from right. fruits and blah 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 and i'm sitting here like what is wrong i was like we don't come from cave people we are the sun people like but that's look, where you know, i said we can't eat the same things so where you're pushing a paleo diet and they say well our ancestors ate paleo whose ancestors <laughs> just to make sure y'all hold Not up I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show y'all because I, I you know they think we just talking hold up I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up the stats right now i'm gonna pull it up I don't want nobody thinking we capping, because let me tell you something. Hold up. There are so many questions over here. Woo. Let me see. Where is it? That charger full up. Where is it? Boom. Okay. Do y'all want to see the book? On, well, matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all the book. I got to raise the book on, because I want y'all to see it. How do I flip my camera? Um, Once again, it's in the book. Look. It's showing... Lord, my camera full of camera just felt it. <laughs> it's showing the traditional African diet. When it comes down to fiber, we are eight times higher than Caucasian processed food diets. We need eight times much more fiber than they do. Where do you get that? From vegetables. Sodium, one sixth of the processed food diet, meaning what? We can't have as much salt as they have. Calcium, seven times higher than processed food diet. Why? Because we get a lot of our calcium for our bones and everything else via fruits. Phosphorus, phosphorus. Five to eight times higher than processed food diet. Why? Because we don't get that from meat. Our bodies can't digest that properly. Vitamins. Higher levels of water and fat-soluble vitamins. I'm going to say that again. Water and fat-soluble vitamins. 
sunlight, 80% more sunlight stimulation for the pineal organ, so-called gland. The skin absorbs the most sunlight, which is transported by the blood, like we say it, to the liver. The liver converts it into what? Vitamin D, the hormonal vitamin that we talked about, giving black people the highest vitamin D content. This stuff, child, let me flip my camera back so y'all can see my face. We not playing around, bro. Like, we be trying to tell y'all. We be trying to And tell another we not really big talking. thing, another thing, too, to look at is your blood type. And I, I came across a book called Please Eat Dive right In. Blood type. Please dive in, because I, I yeah. got questions about that. Please dive in. So I, I didn't read the full book, but I, I skimmed a lot of the pages of it. And Which book? As I, I mean, uh, it's called Eat Right for Your Blood Type. For Your Blood Type. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. Go, let's go. So I was so I found out my blood type and I found out a lot of um African American people's blood type is A positive. When you yes. look in that book, it tells you that your diet shouldn't you shouldn't have any starchy foods. You should be eating mainly vegetables. And that's how your body, your your blood is going to receive that that nourishment better than because everybody's food. different. Exactly. Better than eating meats and things like that. You're supposed to be eating berries, you're supposed to be eating legumes, you're supposed to be eating stuff like that. You know what I mean? So find out your blood type. I try to tell everybody that. Find out your blood yes. type. Out, and then you can buy a test yes. on Amazon and easily find out your um blood type. Do it a few times, but you know what I mean. Um, my genetics tried find- to almost screw me over though because my dad's A and I think my mom's like I mean my dad's O and I think my mom's like ARB and I'm AB positive. So I'm like mm-hmm. right in the middle because I'm the youngest mm-hmm. generation of blood, so like the newest mm-hmm. form of blood. And mm-hmm. child, when I tell you I'm be teetering, like I got to watch like cheese for me. Oh my God. Yeah. Just, just, just lay me down for three days. Like I'm out. <laughs> just lay me down. <laughs> Take I'm it not out. good for nothing. <laughs> me but either. Just, <laughs> but at the same, but in that same breath, you give me a whole bunch. Like today, I, I ran through like two boxes of blueberries. Look, just on, like on 10. And those you know, are the best. Like, yes. Those are the be, best. Yeah. I try to tell them. They don't be listening. I try to tell them. You know, we just, we just, we just woke people. <laughs> right we're just exactly no but um mm-hmm. strawberries are the worst the worst sorry i want to say this really quick for any woman oh, do out it, there it. stay away from strawberries please they have so one they have entirely over a hundred plus pesticides that they spray on them two all of those are also estrogen producing meaning they're going to when you are eating your strawberries or whatever your body is producing an oat like an ex exponential amount of estrogen that your body does not need and then that also can aid or that also can push you into the your uh estrogen dominant or they'll say um your progesterone is too low or whatever it is that you've got going on that that strawberries please stay away from strawberries if you're gonna get them get them organic even then though i'm like Uh and you know and i'm a couple what she's saying about it y'all want to know why because it's one of the most furthest away from the actual first generation of fruits that we're supposed to be eating. We could, bro, look, I be, you, it's like having a, you between you and everybody I've been having on my life just been, we just been here. We just Tribe. been so here, bro. Oh so my God. So family, so family. Ooh. Y'all, we got like, I don't know what's looking on your end, but I'm like 40 something messages deep. I got to like. You, you go to, ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, what kind of water do you drink? We already talked about that. I don't know what no song seven mean. PCOS, what's good to to do slash use? Did we talk about that already? I'm pretty sure we talked about PCOS already, right? All right, well, I'll say this. For one, if y'all really want to like find at least a first step, go to my page, go to my the link in my bio. I have um um I have a well the PCOS protocol is this. It's gonna uh, I have the thyroid pituitary gland protocol, which dives into the uh, you should get the lymphatic protocol protocol. And then the raw food protocol, those three protocols back to back is pretty much, I'm not going to say, I hate to use the word cure, but like it's going to reverse essentially what you have going on. Because when it comes out to PCOS and stuff like that, it's not that, oh, well, you can't reproduce and your body is not doing what exactly what it has to do. Things are backed up and are not being shedded via your period or your digestive or your lymphatic is just not moving. So these protocols help get things moving. So PCOS is just, it's just another word for stagnation. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Things are clogged up. Your liver, usually with um, with PCOS, it's your liver is holding on to a lot of hormones. Um, for if I had to recommend an herb for that, I would say dandelion root. Dandelion root lattes with um, with um, lattes. Yes, have you had one? Break it down. Break it down. Oh down. my I gosh! Never, never I, I have a, I have a video on my um on my page, but let me just skim through it real quick. Dandelion, you do you steep the dandelion root for a long time. You know it's real bitter. Uh, um, yes. but but. Um, you can either add whatever kind of nut milk you'd like, um, 
preferably not soy, but um, a um, whatever nut milk that you would like, add that in. And then you can also add in the honey, a raw honey into um, the steeping of your... What about agave nectar? How you feel about that? You can. I like, I like agave. I okay. like agave, okay. but I'm me and honey. I'm so sorry. Like, no, I, I understand, but I had to ask because manuka honey and and blue agave nectar to me is the same. Like I can tear them both up. Okay, okay, yeah, but you can you can add um those into the dandelion root, and then you pretty much just froth it up the same way. It's warm. It tastes exact to me. It tastes exactly like what you would get from Starbucks, except it's clean cleaning out your liver clearing up your skin you're gonna That's yes it, it is a diuretic you are going to pee a lot go get you your little starbucks cup and put it in there and act like you got starbucks and use that <laughs> <laughs> have yes. that instead okay now how do you feel about dandelion root fortified with milk thistle yes yes okay oh okay what yes oh no look i mean look let me tell you something uh the moment you said dandelion root I almost dropped my phone and ran out of this room because that's essentially the same thing. Like in the protocols that I have, not mm-hmm. without giving away too much, that's one of the, like, let me tell you something. Y'all will be surprised what yeah, these like simple herbs good. can do. Exactly. I'm talking about will flush you all the way out. Cause a lot of people like, I have a lot of diabetics come to me too, which is running rampant in our community. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. But like with my insulin and blah, 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 blah. I was like, check your pancreas. Check yeah. your liver, check your kidneys, because a lot of people, when I started explaining the transverse colon, people didn't know what the hell I was talking about. And I'd be mm-hmm. trying to tell people the transfer before food even gets to your gut. Granted, digestion really starts in the mouth. But mm-hmm. like by the time it gets to your transverse colon, if that transverse verse colon has to work 10 times harder, and then there's like a, a lot of people don't know, there's like an opening between like what well, a secretion uh, that's kind of, how can I describe it? Because a lot of people don't know how it really looks if you haven't seen it. Imagine like, like skin to skin contact essentially imagine like all the glands and the organs are just touching right it's like a it's like a sticky type of substance, substance they have between each other and they excrete uh hormones and, and and all types of little secretions between each other right so mm-hmm. essentially what's happening when that food or whatever you eat and gets to the transverse colon the pancreas the liver the kidneys which is all essentially in that same spot it's tied to what the transverse transverse colon so they start secreting the acids and the salts and the digestive properties that we need to hit that so when you couple that with dandelion root and milk thistle, it goes straight. That's the crazy part about it. It goes straight to the liver. So whenever mm-hmm. the body's starting to digest or purify itself and get all this stuff out, you couple that with dandelion root and milk thistle, by the time your body's done detoxifying all of that, you got a whole new stomach. It's so crazy how fast it works. It works so fast. I have never I have never heard of anybody fortifying those two together. Please, um, y'all, it's- if you have if you have PCOS and you have you have you need to detox your liver, that's the place to go. Okay, go. Go to, to my page, liver. y'all. Go to like, my page, and I have it in the link. I've never everything. heard of that, and those two things are so good for your liver. It can regenerate your liver. So, and prime example, not to cut y'all, but prime example, you see people that have. Granted, I don't have it, but like, I was, I want to show, but I don't have it in my eyes. You know how people have like an orangish type tint. To the mm-hmm. white part, that's mm-hmm. key signs that your that your liver, liver is yes, it is like either it's offline, like you ain't logged into MySpace in over ten years, it's either offline or like it's really degenerative. And let me tell you something: couple that with those two herbs, and then and also on top of that, I need people to understand this. Just like with medicine and vitamins and everything else, if you're gonna start diving into herbs, you need to flood your body with water. You need our our flood. Like me personally. I believe I believe in H3O more than H2O because fruit juices are just undefeated, in my opinion. But at the same time, yeah, we here. But at the same time, if y'all are not about that life and y'all are not there yet, get y'all some water and put it with some chlorophyll and help yourself out. Because think about it. You can't just put diesel in a car and be like, okay, it worked. No, you got to put the proper gas in the proper car to make it work a certain type of way. Reasons why we don't put diesel in Nissans. We put, mm-hmm. we put the, the good stuff in our stuff and they put the diesel in the bigger trucks because certain mm-hmm. engines can't operate the same. I literally, I, I think it's on my Insta, one of my Instagram stories or it's somewhere. I've told people, eat your water. You should be eating your water. You can drink it, that's fine, but eat your water because mm-hmm. that's not the same kind of water. At that all. You're getting. At all. Bro, look, <laughs> prime example, because like, you know me, I'm a, I didn't say it enough and I'll say it again. I'm a blueberry freak. So like mm-hmm. the past, not yesterday, it was day before yesterday and, and the day before that. I just had so much to do. 
I could not get to the grocery store. I could not get to the, the farmer's market and I needed some more blueberries. I needed to like just some more. But all I had was my distilled water. I just got some more chlorophyll, so I re-upped on that. But like just those two days with me not being able to dive into the blueberries like I normally do, my lips was ashy. My face was getting a little dry. Like my body was like, this is not how we normally hydrate. This is this is great value compared to the the Maserati engine you be putting inside of us. This is a little, a little Honda Civic you got right here. We we good to we want the G wagon water. Bring it back. And like the mo- I kid you not, the moment I even before I even juiced it, the moment I just ate like if a handful of blueberries, like sh- I'm I'm back like I was immediately back. But I tell people mm-hmm. you have like just like the protein myth. There's no such thing as your body needing a bunch of protein. You need amino acids. Yeah, you can get way more of that even healthily than you can from eating all the putrefied meats. I've been trying to tell people, and I'm not gonna take my clothes off because I'm because I'm on here, but like I don't want to look crazy or nothing like that. But I'm telling y'all, I used to be small. I'm still slim. I'm I'm a lean in nature, but like I did not have this much muscle when I was eating meat as opposed to when I switched to my 80 20. I'm trying mm-hmm. to tell people it's like before I I fully came over to the plant based and tried going vegan and all of that, bro. Look, mm-hmm. whether it be me working out running track, playing basketball, playing soccer. I do all, I did all of that type of stuff. Still do it when I have time. But mm-hmm. the amount of stress and work that you would figure, oh yeah, he eating good. He going to bulk up. I was stuck at 145. Stuck. And I'm six feet tall. That does not look good on me. So <laughs> whenever I started actually eating right and like amino acids and started, you know, really get diving into my berries, my fruits and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I got jacked out of nowhere. And it may not look like it, y'all, but go down on my page. I got my transformation down there. And that's from last year. Watch when I start doing the new stuff this year. Like, y'all got to understand, bro. Like, the dude that just broke the record. Y'all better the watch world's... out. <laughs> exactly. The dude that broke the record for the most recent, the heaviest deadlift in the world, he's plant-based. All he eats is beans and rice with fruits. All of the, the strongest animals are plant-based. Exactly. Gorillas. You know, plant-based. Like, oh, but they don't, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't They're not that. listening. You could actually get thick off of vegetables and fruits, but no. Um, I guess that'll you turn can. You know and it's I was also um trying to say it's kind of because somebody said well I like to just focus on macros and micros and how much I'm eating I was like that's cool but like mm-hmm. you can like it's it's really hard to overeat vegetables and, and <laughs> Bro, I'll preach like it, preach because you will preach. get it will it's gonna eliminate and it's gonna sh- tell you I'm I'm good once you're eating a lot of water like it's really mm-hmm. hard to overeat that. So instead yep. of focusing on your macros and your micros and this and that, mm-hmm. just switch to vegetarian. It, like, I say vegan, but like vegetarian first. Or I, yeah, I, I get what you you're saying. It's an easier transition. It. It's yeah. a way easier transition if you do it like that. And I try to tell people that because I was a personal trainer before, a holistic practitioner. Doing mm-hmm. it for the long, helping people gain and lose weight. Reasons why I have the detox that I have that that was one of my first biggest problems because I understand weight management via food. But like as somebody who's currently trying to bodybuild, in a very indifferent way, you know, it, it's like a lot. Of, like, cause I'm going through a guy named Chase. He's uh, he has prolific fitness out here where I'm at, and he's like builds the best bodies. And like mm-hmm. I told him, I was like, look, I, I've been doing macros. I understand macros, but mine, you're gonna see. He's like, well, that's a lot of sugar and blah blah blah. I said, not that don't digest the same. That does not digest, they don't. digest the same. That's not the same no. thing. Exactly. Cause I try to tell people, it's like, well, I'm diabetic. I can't have fruits and blah 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 blah. No, you can't have a lot of. You can be on a fruit. You can you can be on a fruitarian diet. As a diabetic, and heal yourself, you and heal yourself. But they don't want to hear that. But they don't want to hear. <coughs> excuse me. They don't want to hear that. Once again, I don't have COVID for all the new people. I was screaming yesterday, so I'm a little hoarse. I don't have no COVID. But um, for like when it comes down to fruits, they try to they try to paint this picture that fructose is bad. No, baby, that's the amino acid that we need and all the electrolytes that we need from fruits that come through our body. Now, whenever you start getting into vegetables. When you have like hypoglycemia and stuff like that's because the mm-hmm. vegetables require way more insulin, way more sugar to be digested. Reasons why whenever people are having detox symptoms and stuff like that from a mo- majority fruit based diet, we implore them to get more grains and vegetables in their system to slow down the reaction because a lot of energy that goes into detoxifying your body has to be split to digesting the vegetables. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta y'all gotta stay with us. Stay with us, y'all. Stay. I know we're talking deep, but stay with us. Have you ever had a burro banana? Somebody never heard of it. I never even heard of that. Okay, burrow bananas, they're, burrow they they taste exactly like potatoes. So for the people who can't have the potato, and I'm, I'm not one, you know, like the, the vegans that be like, well, this tastes exactly like, no, it tastes <laughs> exactly like a potato. It yeah. tastes exactly, I was like, it, and you have to get it when it's not ripe. Um, but burrow bananas, okay. beautiful. I tried, try them. Um, do you have more questions? I was actually about to uh, add on to what I was about to say. There was something I wanted to yeah, say somebody that I ain't glad that banana threw me off. Oh, sour sop. Sorry. Same thing, same thing with sour sop. It's like 
if for people that's trying to transition, whenever you cook it down, it tastes borderline like pork and chicken. It even smell like it, but it's still a fruit. But if you eat, mm-hmm. even if you eat it raw, it's almost the same amount of beneficial uh vitamins and minerals you'll get from it. The only difference is, you know, when you when you cooking something, you're technically putrefying it, so you're killing the, killing it on the cellular uh, level, but you lightly cook it. Don't sit there and fry it and all this other type of stuff. You know, like really cook it how it needs to be cooked. And then you, that's a, another great way to transition. But me, I'm a beans and rice type of person. I love beans and rice. I love the reason why red beans and rice is so hard for me to let go from Popeye's. But, you know, I cook it when I can cook it when I can't. I ain't gonna lie. I still go there from time to time. I'll be trying, y'all. And I'll be paying for it, but I'll be trying. But other than that, fruits, a whole bunch of fruits, and you'll be straight. Yes. Um. Somebody wants to know if you have a, uh, well, hold on. somebody said what diet should they be on? One second. It just went away. What detox? Yeah, what detox should I use? Do you have a de- Okay, so I'm gonna ask. I'm about Do you to say have that. a detox? Um, that again? To get rid of body cravings of sugar oh, and starch. The one that I have. Y'all can go to my link in my bio. I, I have a se- I have a, I have a seven day and a, and a ten day detox. So the seven day is a little less intense than the ten day detox. But if you really want to get it at your system for real, for real, I at least start the first step. You get the ten day detox because it's a little bit more in depth. It's a little bit more options and variety of how to like substitute all the things. Cause like. One thing people don't realize is you're not craving the food. You're craving the chemicals or the secretions that come from the food that your body digests. So what I did was I mimicked the very same chemical compounds that those certain foods uh, release whenever you eat them, how to get it from fruits and vegetables. So not only are you you're losing weight and you're detoxifying yourself via fruits and vegetables, plus the herbs that I have that you have to go get and stuff like that, that's already included in there. But um, essentially, you're losing weight in a very net, like in the most natural way possible. And it's so drastic because the combination in the calendar and because like it comes with a calendar, a list or like it comes with everything. Like you literally all you have to do is buy it and read it and follow it. That's all you have to do. It's really it's so simple to use. But once you start doing that, you go through that process. The cra- yeah, you'll have cravings initially like any normal person person would because you got to think about it. You've been eating whatever you've been eating for 20 plus years. So whenever you mm-hmm. do this. It can. I'm not gonna say it, it can't be fixed in ten days, but you'll get a hell of a leap with it, and it is reusable. You can keep reusing the, the, the detox as much as possible. I have a lot of people like her name is Keely. That was one of the first people that did it when I made it. Shorty dropped like forty pounds, but like she she was like, okay, I'm gonna do it because I told myself like if you're gonna reuse it, you can if you really know what you're doing. But if not, give yourself a few days to adjust because you gotta balance out. You have mm-hmm. to balance out because a lot of people they don't give themselves a break. Or they, they relapse and they, they eat something they're not supposed to and they puff right back up. It's because you have all these processes. You got to realize it's process and they call it process so y'all can understand it better. But it's really a mon, not a mono. It's a, a poly complex. It's poly complex carbohydrates. That's essentially what it is. So like the, the compounds that they have to make it, like the processed foods and stuff like that. The reason why you puff up so fast is because there's so many things in there that chemically your body, like you got to realize your body can gain five to ten pounds off of garbage. Because it has to be packed up with so much stuff for you to even die. You got to think about it. And I'm about to blow some of your minds with this. The reason why people can eat McDonald's, even though it makes them sick and they still pass it, is because they have a laxative chemical that they secrete inside of all their food. So the body, so the, the reason why you don't really get, like, the people that's really unhealthy don't get, like, super sick is because it tricks the mind. Kind of like how caffeine tricks the mind. It's not really energizing you. It's just dampening your neurological sense that, that releases the chemical that tells your body you're tired. It mutes it. It's like somebody hitting the mute button on it. Essentially, what the laxatives in the McDonald's food is doing, in order for your body to pass it, being that it's, it's very inorganic, they put a laxative, well, a form of laxative in it, even in their condiments, in the meats, in the cheese, and the product, all that type of stuff. That's why mm-hmm. you can pass it, quote unquote. But all the all the mucoid plaque that forms from that, because all the amount of mucus that has to form just to properly get it through your body, is causing the diseases. And guess what? The chemical state inside your body. So you're releasing some of the mass, but the chemicals and the compounds and all this other garbage that makes you get fat and turns into fat is the chemicals that's just sitting inside of your body that eventually turns to subcutaneous and visceral fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> like, oh no, bro! Look, I'll be up in he, here. No, I wish shit. I could show my room, but it ain't, it ain't clean. It ain't the cleanest right now. I have books on books on books. Like all I do is read. All I do is read. I go find like, especially for like the practitioners that I love, like Yaki, mm-hmm. Doctor Savi, uh, Mel, Doctor Melanie Stevens, Doctor Like Africa Rest His Soul, um, Ginger the Clue. Like all of those people, I go on their YouTube and their Instagrams, and I between me, their audio books, their YouTube seminars. And me just reading my own books. Just brother, engross I'm, yourself in it. I do too. You have to. Literally, you it's have everywhere. To. You're like, this, this, and this. Yes. You have to. Like, even on my phone and my laptop, PDFs. Like, it, I'm not slip. You would never catch me slipping. I'm so, And if I don't do it, I'm going to grab that book because I'm not going to feed you the wrong information. Exactly. I'm People like, let me, let me check. I got a book for this. Hold on. Let me look. 
Um, so what, what you looking for? No, no, I, I say that. I say that too. I'm always like, I got a book for this. Let me look. Let me look mm-hmm. right quick. And for all y'all, that's like, well, if y'all know what y'all shouldn't be representing, no. There's so much information, like, that's the, even the best of them got to stay sharp. Because a lot of people be right. in my comments trying to say that sometimes. They be like, well, if y'all know it, why y'all referencing these, blah, 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 blah. You don't know it. So with that being said, let the people that's actually studying it and try to get it together, let us do our job and, and not grant it. Right. I'm going to always submit. double check. You know what I'm saying? But ex- exactly. I'm, like, if I'm telling check you to take accounts, something, you don't you want what? me guessing with your body, do you? No. And that's why I be trying to tell people, like, I don't, bro, look, Everybody, they had this one person in my comments talking about, oh, it's a scam. You're going after desperate women and blah, 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 blah. People's lives are at stake. Think if I'm going, so say going for desperate women and I'm so say putting them on these detox and stuff like that, if people die, you know, I get sued, right? Like, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to play with nobody. Y'all crazy? For what? Exactly. I'm, barely, I'm, I'm barely making it how it is. I, what y'all going to take my call? My <laughs> love, you know, Like, come on. I don't know. Not the camera. People be man, look. People be playing. I, I ain't got. I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. This. I'm not man. Look. Whatever I don't know, I go find out. Whatever I know, I enhance it. Whatever I want to know, mm-hmm. I will figure it out. Because at the end of the day, and like the half of the, the majority of the reason why I'm doing this anyway is because one of the one of my biggest regrets in life is that I wasn't as knowledgeable and as in practice as I should have been. Whenever my grandmother started having her first symptoms of heart attacks, mm-hmm. I was not well versed. That was years ago. I was young. And I, and I shouldn't really be blaming, and I don't really blame myself, but like, you know, it, it weighs on you a little bit knowing that yeah. you have the information to reverse things now. Reason why mm-hmm. I'm going so hard with my other grandmother because she's pre diabetic right now. I say, not, no, it's not happening. You know, mm-hmm. but now granted, you can tell them all you want to tell them. They still have to, it, it's up to them to do it. Don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, that was a weight that was on me to where it's like, I have family members that are sick. You know, they like, they have all these type of problems. Like, people don't, don't understand, but like, there's like literal marijuana and cocaine addictions that you can detox yourself from. You know, like, and look, I'm not one of those people that's like, granted, I don't drink or smoke, but I'm not one of those people like, oh, it is this demonized and you're a devil. Man, y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. But at the end of the day, do realize y'all playing with chemicals that was designed to mess y'all up. It was and, not designed yeah. for y'all to flourish off of this. Like, mm-hmm. oh, well, I get this, that, and the third. Notice, a lot of men that smoke a lot of different strands, like, if you're gonna smoke marijuana, at least smoke the original strand, because all these other deviant strands, guess what they do to men? It it raises their estrogen and lowers their, uh, their, t- their testosterone. Reasons why whenever they get high, they get in this very feminine-like state, even though well, I'm just zoned out. No, you're walking in another no. feminine duality, and y'all don't even realize that. Like, you got to realize that. I'm trying to, I keep trying to tell this to people. If you want to know how to heal, if you want to know what these symptoms mean, if you want to know how everything honestly is supposed to work, study the female anatomy. Y'all literally have cosmic stardust inside of y'all stomachs, and the fact that y'all can make a baby from scratch blows my mind. Y'all literally, like, there's no, like, Oh, well, the bones got to download. No, y'all are forming literal bones, cartilage, ligaments, blood vessels. Like, it blows my mind how y'all go through nine months of creating whatever this is in y'all body and then got the nerve to pass it. And not only that, but now my my, my body's like, now my body, this is what got me. I was like, so you mean to tell me my body did all that? And now my body's going to say, okay, now I have to feed this. So how how you know you got to feed it? Like Ooh. I'm not doing anything. Dude. Your body literally knows Talk your body, and then, and then your body knows. Also, my baby is sick, so let me create this uh, with the, the milk. I'm gonna throw this phone. I'm gonna phone because <laughs> so let preaching. me create this so I can help. So I can help my baby. Yes, you're it not. Look, you're not even doing it. As long as here. Well, uh, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I was saying, and so okay so all i'm saying was your body now your body knows that your baby is sick it knows exactly what your baby needs yes. just by the touch just by the interject yes like just the energy yes, it's I, magical I, it's i'm cosmic. like what in the world let me tell yeah. y'all something and i'm not look i'm not what i'm about to say i'm not trying to step on nobody's toes i'm really not what i'm about to say do not take this the wrong way but reasons why i promote breastfeeding over um over similac and stuff like that because the pure chemical, like, y'all got to realize the first seven years of a child's development determines who they are physically and mentally and spiritually for the rest of their lives. So, yeah. like, that's why people that, like, try to make their own, like, even if they can't, I try, in my pregnancy protocol that I'm almost done making, it should be done tonight, and I'm going to drop it real, real soon, but the pregnancy protocol that I'm making, it shows people how to prepare their bodies at least a year before they even plan on having a child. And not just the women, the men, too, because you got to mm-hmm. realize that's another thing for all y'all men that's up in here. Don't be blaming them women for miscarriages and this, that, and the third because your sperm health overall is 80% of the job. If you shoot now weak, decrepit, 
biodegenerate sperm, guess what? She's going to miscarry because her body is doing 200,000% of the work. Stop blaming these women for their bodies not doing their job and some black women already got it hard enough on this work, on this earth and you got to be the mom and the daddy from the from from ingest stop that stop that stop that i be trying to tell people bro like there's ways we can go up and that's nothing too postpartum y'all don't bro look postpartum depression is real i be trying to tell people it's all hormonal like it is. y'all not that's why whenever you like for me i know i'm not ready for kids right now we're not trying to have no kids right now because at the end of the day I want to make sure I'm there to support. I want to be able to have the time. So, okay, I need to help with the bottles. I need to help with the food. I need to help if she's not feeling good. I need to be able to exercise her. I need to be able to prepare her food for her. Like, pregnancy is, like, taking care of a woman when she's pregnant is not just the nine months she's pregnant. When that baby get there, that's the real work. She needs to sleep. You need to get up and go get them bottles and pump. You need to give her her herbs and give her her fruits to where her hormones don't get all up and down. And also, yeah. you need to be her emotional sounding board whenever she's going through these hormonal changes. And yeah, we could pump them with herbs and fruits and stuff like that. The mentality is the mentality. Pray for your wife. Pray for your baby mom, your girlfriend, whoever she is to. Pray for her. Speak positive things into her. And enrich life. her body. Enrich her soul. Enrich her mind. Mm-hmm. And don't be trying to just, oh, well, we didn't. We wasn't having sex while he was pregnant. Let's have sex. Now, let her body snap back. Right. Like, 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 exactly. And a lot of women are going through this. Not only are women going through that alone, but they're also going through that uninformed. So I guess if I had to go, if I had, hopefully not, and you can't tell the future, but if I ever had to go through that alone, at least I'm informed on what I can take. So then when I'm, when I pass my baby, like my hormones don't just completely deplete and I'm, Bruh. done for like and that's what happens to a lot of women they don't have that support which just then now you're you're trying to raise a baby and your body is trying to talk and communicate with it but it can't you it right. really does take two people and you have to be in, informed and you have to have yes. the support when you are yes. having a baby, for sure yes. you can lose your teeth like i found that out you can lo- just by yes. not, not being informed you can literally lose your teeth having a baby not only not only when you're also adding in when you're gonna actually when you're going into labor you can also you you as a black woman you are eight times more likely to die Ooh, talk about it during talk that. about it so you're gonna go through all that alone you don't know like it's it's a hot mess and it prime example my uh my girlfriend's sister she had um i've been in their family for going for three years going on three well three years in november so about a few months and I've been around for two new generations that have been passed inside the family. And when I tell you mm-hmm. we did not leave their side, like, hey, what you need? Hey, you got some? Because, like, she's a she's a single mother right now, you know? Mm-hmm. And, but, like, she's doing such an amazing job. Like, bro. And then I ain't going to lie. I got a favorite. I didn't want to pick a favorite, but I got a favorite. Her name is Lux. Lux is mm-hmm. so beautiful. Lux is the prettiest. Like, that is the most. It's just something. It's like, you know, when you click, like, when you just click with a being. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm trying to tell people. It takes a village. It takes a partnership because it it's like I'm put my phone on the charger. You can tell that like that connection was meant to be because like mm-hmm. now, granted I'm still working on the changing the diapers part because I ain't there yet. I could I could check like I could clean them, but I'd be struggling with the diapers. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be struggling. But like whenever I'm around, I'd be mad at her mama. Come give her here. Y'all know what this is? Y'all give her here. Mm-hmm. Like people mm-hmm. gotta understand it takes it takes two. And if you don't have a village, you need at least two. So y'all can get stuff going and get it rolling and make sure people are there. Because like you said, if you're uninformed and you're also being a single mother and you also having to, re- and that's nothing too, going, it's like, it don't stop. You go from it, exactly. the body into birthing the child, into raising the child for 18 plus years. Now you still have to work though. <laughs> you still oh. gotta work. <laughs> like, like, so now who's going to take care oh of your baby? Oh my God. And that People connection don't with your baby within those first three months, I mean, just in general, that connection and skin on skin contact with your baby is so important. So now you have to go to work for eight hours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People don't be understanding. Like, we don't have the luxury, like, in foreign countries. They be giving them people maternal leave for, like, me- like one or two years. Mm-hmm. That's because they understand. Like, they you know, understand. I think, exactly. I, think, I forgot what state, it, I mean, what country it was, but, like, they don't even have real pharmaceuticals. It's all botanicals. Is it Switzerland? I want to say. I want to say. I want to say. I think I feel like it's Switzerland, or it's it's one of those. I've heard that. Mm-hmm. And it's sad that like, oh well, America's the greatest, and blah 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 blah. We so out of tune, no. 
Why are we not why are we not paying these women the the rates that they need? Why these people don't have maternity leave for a year or more time? Why like come on man? I don't I don't I don't get that. I don't get that. Well, we can't control how many kids come out, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's on y'all. That's a management thing. And then granted, that's private and public and corporate owned business. I understand that, but at the end of the day, these people are responsible for birthing out our next generation. Mm-hmm. And if anybody, if anybody needs to be taken care of out of anybody, it's the women. Mm-hmm. I just, I just, I don't get it. I had a, I had a, um, I made a post about, um, the, the whole alpha male movement that's going on right now, which is absurd to me. And like, I just had to tell him, I was like, y'all worry about the wrong thing. I'm not worried about being more alpha than the next man. I'm worried about me and mine and how mm-hmm. we and how we grow and how we take care of, because I, what I, if I'm taking, if I'm so busy taking care of what I got to do and striving to be better to not only heal my people, but the community, what do I have time trying to, so say, put my foot on the next man's neck for what? Like that don't that don't make no dog on sense. Who's worried that, that about no that? Dog on sense. <laughs> like who's worried about that? She <laughs> has so many other things to exactly. They'll sit in a room and have a podcast about it. <laughs> you say what? Yeah, uh, I said they'll sit in the room and have a podcast about it. A whole podcast about it. Crazy. I think I know exactly who you're talking about too. If you're talking about that, uh, what's what's their names? Them two you talking about the two dudes. I am. Yeah. This- <laughs> exactly who you're talking about too if you're talking about that uh what's what's their names them two talking about the two dudes i am yeah this- <laughs> sure am bro i need to hurt my message her huh? real quick because we got some family stuff going on right now and we can still stay on the live i just need to let her know i'm still in the uh the live she's gonna be all right i just need to let her know that uh i'm gonna call it as soon as i'm done i had to give her some choice words about some stuff that's going on right now that i do not agree with what that they got going on and they mm-mm. Just, just know I'm the dude in the family that nobody really likes to talk to about certain things because I don't, <laughs> man, look, I don't play. Um, okay, I'm about to say, we can answer some questions in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, give me a what, uh, would you recommend me this for a pregnant? Well, I'm not talking about. Oh, some confetti just popped up all over my screen. Woo, woo, woo. We celebrating. I'm here for it. <laughs> it took over my whole screen. You celebrating, celebrating, apparently. My bad, I didn't mean to cut off your question. That, that just surprised no, 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 me. No, 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 I didn't understand what she was saying, so I kind of skipped it. Uh, if you guys have questions, add or go ahead and comment your questions, but please make them literate. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm I'm literally, like, you know how it shows, like, how many you behind? I'm down, like, 92. I'm trying to scroll up. <laughs> but we having such a good conversation, that's why. Dandelion root tea is replaced for coffee. Yes, it is. It what is. helps men stop balding? Wait, what helps men stop balding slash reverse and what causes balding? I'll say this. That's one of two. You mind me answering this question? Go ahead. There's one of two things. So whenever it comes down to somebody, okay, we're good. Whenever it comes down to a man balding, that's one of two things. Well, it's typically one thing, but it's one of the, the two greater things. Like I said before, thyroid and pituitary glands. But essentially, they can have too much testosterone. That's the thing about a male body that most people don't understand. Too much testosterone or an imbalance of certain testosterone as opposed to estrogen or progesterone inside of our bodies, um, especially for men, it causes balding because the body, it takes hormones to grow the hair. But the reason why you see a lot of people that's balding, they have crazy big beards. That's because like the testosterone levels they have is just overdoing it and it's overdeveloping and it's borderline depleting and it's also a part of the adrenal glands. So it's overall just depleting. So like in the next, granted they're in their prime, but in the next 10 years, they're going to have so many health problems if they don't fix it. Rather, It's rather to be a naturally, um, how can I put it? You can have, nothing's wrong with having a lot of testosterone, but if you notice you're overproducing it and you're balding, you need to start balancing your hormones because by the time you get to 40 and 50, you have nothing to hold your manhood together. So you have erectile dysfunction. You actually lose inches. Your blood vessels start shrinking. You can't produce the same bone calcium like you need. Like it's, it's, it's a good thing to be in your, because don't get me wrong. He ain't complaining because he in his 23rd is knocking them back, knocking them down, lasting 10 rounds. I understand. But at the same time, you can't keep like, if you want to keep doing that in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, you got to balance that now. So I would say go, um, go to my site. I have a thyroid slash pituitary gland protocol. Tell them do that. That should help them out. Um, okay. Just going on with that, just that subject, somebody asked, um, is early gray hairs, early gray hairs is a sign of testosterone level issues? It's half and half. So like, it can be that, but overall it's really copper. So like when it comes down to the copper and zinc inside of your body, or you might be having a depletion or imbalance, like I said, the imbalance inside of their hormones. It it just, I mean, you know, pituitary and thyroid that controls all of that anyway, even the metabolic side of it. So something's either over or under producing something. So they just need to balance that. So in a sense, yes, it is a sign of hormonal imbalance. Okay. 
Mm. I'm, about, I'm trying to catch up on questions too. Stuff we I'm looking at stuff we answered already and stuff we did. I'm trying to find it. It's really just a lot of people agreeing with. I'm here with it. I'm, I'm here for the party. I'm here for the cousins. Also, the people. Okay, yeah. in case you didn't know, the people on my end, our tribe is called the Culture Cousins. So you know, I just, oh, when okay. I say, when I say all oh, my cousins, I just be referring to everybody that's up in here. Okay. Um. Yeah, chlorophyll is good for when you're pregnant. Also, alfalfa and net are stinging nettles, but you have yes. to make sure you get them freeze dried. Oh, can I hold up? I want to show them something. Just because you said that, I just got this one today. I'm trying this out. Where is it at? I just had it. Hey, my love. She on her laptop. I can't show it up. She's comfortable in her bed. I ain't, I'm going to leave her be. I got the alfalfa concentrated chlorophyll today. I'm about to get that a try. I got the alfalfa based one. Because before I put it on the market, oh, I want to okay. try it out for myself. Mm-hmm. And um, they actually concentrated from alfalfa. And you know alfalfa is one of the, one of the best purifiers in the game. Nutritive. It's very yeah. nutritive. So it's like, all right, I'm going to put this in my distilled water and see what it's hitting on. I know that. <laughs> but yeah, you said that and you, you started mentioning all that. Well, I got to show them. I got to show them. Hold on. Can you show that again? Just so um, she can, if she has to screenshot it. It's about to be on the site, y'all. Don't worry. Just go, just stay. Look, track the link in my bio. I'm going to buy I, that one because alfalfa is was, very good for pregnant women. Or it's at, very good for at my store, it was like 13. It might be backwards on y'all, but it was like 13 99 But they'd be, I'd be coming through so much, they'd be like, you get the discount. I'd be like, all right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, people, okay, so people want up, uh, YouTube upload. I think Chelsea had talked about that later. Because, yeah, you know, you can do, like, the live replay thing. So, I, I mean, I'm not opposed. <laughs> oh, speaking of YouTube, why you ain't ghost on us? Why you okay, so what had happened was... What I'm had ready, happened was... So, it's really hard to... For me, it's very hard to balance making orders, answering people's questions, going live, <laughs> making TikToks, then making edit Let a YouTube quiet. video, and Let then people are like, it, "Do you know I be getting cussed out?" Um, I ordered two days ago, and where is my order? I be like, "Girl, I'm in here working. It's made by hand. Like I mix everything one by one, and it's made within the week that you ordered it. So it's not an old product. I didn't make this stuff and then let it sit there. I'm right? Because you really can't sending it out. Yes. So. All of that is that is hard. It's hard. I did go ghost on YouTube, but I I do plan on pre-recording a lot of things and then just uploading them and then slowly letting them out. So it seems like you know, but like, whoo, it's hard. Because I had uh, I I ain't gonna lie. I dove into I dove into a lot of your content and I was I was invested. I was invested, but now I was like, wait a minute, hold up, where the next video at? But then right, I saw you the, the video was like, gone. It's been oh six months. <laughs> oh, it's all um, good. It happens, but... it happens for the best of us. That being said, I would love to interview you or even have a co- on, on Let's YouTube. Do it. You, you Let's do, do it. it. Let's do right, it. Let me get my questions together because you know a lot of your stuff as well. And I love I love having this conversation. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, everybody seems like, uh, it's not string nettles, it's stinging nettles. Um, but it seems like a lot of people are very invested. You in You want me to go grab the bottle? Because I take that every day for my prostate. You Sting- want me to grab the bottle? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I... I, I have too. I might just grab all my doggone herbs. That's what I tried to do that. I was like, let me grab a few. <laughs> let me grab a few. Yeah, because you know they be them. they be wanting to know and they be wanting to see. But that MacBook look nice. I, I need to give me one. You want to get the freeze dried ones though. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he has my babies. My baby just sitting over there. My two dogs over there waiting for me to get off this like oh, we want to go outside. <laughs> we gotta go. But yeah, this is the one I, I take. I take that one. That one okay. has been working wonders, wonders for me. You can I'm also get about. it in. Um, you can also get like the actual stinging nettles. Um, and they have like they call it stinging nettles because there's little like stinging mm-hmm. things on them. And you can actually use that. And hi, Mama TikTok. And you can um also use those in um like a tea and steep it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Let me text her right now. How to get rid of fungus in the kidneys? Yikes! You want me? You want me to handle it, or you got that? 
Go ahead. I, I want to hear what you have to say about it. Okay, so when it comes down to fungus being anywhere inside the body, do know that we have regular amounts of bacteria that grow in there, but if you have an excess amount, I will say this. You need to cut out all the... Let's start here. Meats and sugars, got to go. Got to go because it's mass producing and over producing certain types of lymphatic... Like, see, now your lymphatic juices inside your body is, is getting more like a... Like, it's like just traveling acid, if that makes sense. So in order for the fungus to be growing in the kidneys and stuff like that, you actually need to target your adrenal glands because your adrenal glands is what's going to tell the body, hey, we need extra such and such to come over here to clean this up out of here. So meats and sugars, I know it's going to be hard, but let me tell you something. Just ditch it. Just ditch it. Fruits and vegetables, really berries, a whole bunch of berries, berries and, a whole bunch yeah. of, and a whole bunch of cucumbers. But don't look, listen, when you're consuming cucumbers, do not consume the skin. Cucumbers are cousins of watermelons. And that skin does more damage than good inside of your body. Skin that cucumber and you can either juice it or you can eat it. Honestly, I say do both. Like drink you some like first thing in the morning, drink you some fruit juice. Couple that with like some chlorophyll water after that. But like you really want to make sure you're eating predominantly fruits and vegetables because baby, the more meat you put in your body, the more it grows because you got to think about the fermentation process. So if you was to ever put meat inside of a uh, inside of like a, well, say meat is packaged how it's packaged, right? And you just leave it outside right you just leave it in like a in this packaging on the on not even on the sofa just on the counter somewhere notice how like maggots and all this other stuff start forming and after a few days it starts turning green and mold starts happening that's because certain levels of hydration uh i mean certain water molecules uh, overhydrate the cells on a molecular level and it starts producing the fungus right so with that being said whenever you are depriving the body from certain things like the amino acids that actually break down those bad funguses and bacteria via fruits and vegetables, and you're eating a whole bunch of fruits, I mean, you eat a whole bunch of meats, a whole bunch of sugars, a whole bunch of processed, even medications cause this too, and certain vitamins. Make sure your vitamins are water, water and fat-soluble based. If you're not if you're not consuming those type of things and you're chowing down on breads and meats and all those other types, and stay away from, oh yeah, that's another thing, stay away from nuts for right now too. Nuts aren't necessarily bad. But the way they break down in lipid form, it causes even more blockage, especially in the kidney area whenever you're trying to clear out the adrenals. So cool. please make sure that you're eating predominantly fruits and vegetables with a bunch of water and a bunch of fruit juice and seeded fruits. Seedless fruits causes more, even more inflammation. If it's genetically modified or it's seedless, do not consume it. Hmm. I know it's a lot. I'm sorry. I start talking Can and it just start coming out. I did not know this. You're not supposed to eat the skin of a cucumber. No. Okay. So, like, think about it this way. So, let's start off with this. A cucumber is a few generations and cousins off from the watermelon. The reason mm -hmm. why we can't eat is called the. It's funny. My name is my name is Brian, but you can't eat the rind of the uh, of the watermelon or the cucumber because the stomach has an in, like it, it just can't digest it all the way. It tries, and by the time it's somewhat down to digesting it, is a fermentation process happening inside the body, so it turns into <laughs> fungus. It turns into bad bacteria it turns into like just pu like you'll develop what's called a leaky gut and then mm -hmm. once stuff that's in your stomach starts leaking into your bloodstream that you will have way more problems now you got waste that's mm -hmm. not even supposed to be processed via intern uh in the lower chambers of your body in your throat in your neck and like people that have like little lump like lymphatic lumps and stuff like that that's crystallized crystallized acids crystallized cystic waste crystallized and hardened and thick type of mucosis plaques that's just floating around that's not supposed to be there reasons why whenever we tell people to detox you know stay away from meats and stuff like that because when you're eating a putrefied flesh as opposed as opposed to putrefied um well not really putrefied but like cooked fruits and vegetables and stuff like that it breaks down totally different on the molecular level yeah and then if we were even just going to talk about meat digesting meat anyway it takes like what nine to sixteen hours to even digest it in that in in general it takes so it so takes a week for it to really to get out your body exactly. yeah it's and if going you're to rock. it back to back to back and you combine it with starches and stuff like that like one of my biggest problem was lord it took me a while to let it go like biscuits down here biscuits like bread in general like french toast and biscuits that's mm -hmm. hard to like for us because like our culture down here is sugary starches sugar sugar mm -hmm. sugar, sugar 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 you know so mm -hmm. beignet sticks biscuits french toast all that type of stuff like i literally had to find and cinnamon rolls I had to find a way to make all this stuff plant based or vegan because if not, let me tell you something, it's crack. It is so because you got to realize. No, it really is. It, it yeah, really cause, is. Because like, like cheese and sugars, well, cheese and um the sugar, the crystallized sugar that they make that they put in the processed stuff has the literal the same chemical breakdown as cocaine. Exactly. And it, it responds in your brain the same way too. Sugar rushes That's are the real. Same. <sighs> I can't digest meat at all. So, for what if you're going through menopause what about it my love we could help you out just shoot another question 
I'll put it in this way, just in case we can't get to your question. If you're going through menopause, definitely chlorophyll water, like she said. But on top of that, I have, like I said before, I have a pituitary uh, and I have a thyroid gland protocol in my shop. You're going to get that. But say what you about to say. I feel like you're about to say something, too. I was going to say red raspberry um, that leaf. too. Uh, tea. You can eat, do it in a tea. Um, the tea form is better, y'all. Yeah. I say blood. liquids in general are going to be better. Um, I'm... I'm a tincture girl. If I can make it out of a tincture or buy it in a tincture, I'm good. I'm good. Bruh, I had my, you want to know what my first tincture was? My first experience was? Tongue what? of the Leaf. Oh <laughs> my God. The most bitter and just like, it's so crazy how something wet can be dry. Yeah. Oh, and it, That's how um, Ashwagandha. Um, I, said, I never had it in tincture form. I only had it in no, capsule form. I think it's in my refrigerator. But yeah, we made that. Um, at, well, I was like, that hurts. Uh, bitters in general, bitter herbs in general. Ugh. But they, they, the crazy part is they do wonders. They do wonders mm-hmm. for the body. If it's bitter, nine times out of ten, it's gonna heal you immediately at that. There's a hormonal imbalance in testosterone. In testosterone. Testosterone. Why can't I talk? Um, also, no, it's, it's a- the man stamina. Yes. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yes, it does. His libido, it messes up his, oh. um, it messes up a lot of stuff for me. Your Hembe. Get you, I just got me another bottle. Your Hembe. That'll get you right. Dame, uh, Damiana. Macaroon. See what I'm saying? Look, we, we hit, we here. We here. Okay. <laughs> they want to talk crazy about people. Y'all should do that naturally. Baby, look, it's 2022. Not everything. Yeah, this one's going to. God dang, time flying. But like, look, you I gotta do, do what you have can. a question for you. Um, because I, as I was, this was the question that when I was scrolling on your um on your page, you said that you don't recommend apple cider vinegar to ingest. I think you actually said that you should not ingest it. I want to know why. And yeah, because, I'm not gonna lie, I'm against that because yeah, tell you know, me, tell me. And look, I always tell this to, to everybody to each his own. But me personally, I feel as though the way that our organs work. It does help, and a lot of people go crazy with that type of stuff and not realizing mm-hmm. it can eventually eat away at the body. Just the practice that I do, we just don't really believe in putting over amounts or consistent crazy amounts of acids that strong inside of our bodies because we find there's other ways to do it. Now, like I said, to each his own, but just me personally, mm-hmm. that's just not my jam. I don't do that. Okay. What's your reason for it? Shoot, that's a good question. What's your so reason for I, it? So I like it because once uh, it's metabolized, it becomes alkaline, just like lemons also. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm more so of the, um, I'll say I'm more so into, you can have it in a bath. It's really good for like, if See, you're and a, that's the part I agree with. Application bath, yeah. externally, I agree with that. But internally, mm-hmm. it's just like, eh, I don't, I'm not really a fan of that. But I mean, like I said, teachers on. See, see y'all, see how people could like somewhat agree and not agree on something. We don't have to argue about it. Exactly. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> like, we don't have oh, to argue about it. You did that in the third. No, no. baby. Don't agree. <laughs> you right. I'm, still, I'm trying to control. I try not to eat after eight. So, like, my mom was like, you yeah, no more food. Um, okay, so, so coach isn't, uh, Chelsea said, so coach isn't seeing my um, my question, but I want to hear your thoughts on the rhythm method. The rhythm method. Okay. Okay. So you never heard of rhythm method before? No. Okay. So I had, um, my bad, Chelsea, my bad. I, I really know this. The, normally I'm on it with Chelsea uh, messages, but I've never had this many comments fly mm-hmm. in my section ever before. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, like I'm looking at it and it's like literally saying 90 new messages. And I'm also trying to keep up with those <laughs> and talk to you. So my, I'm sorry, Chelsea. I'm going to no, do no, better. No, no. But, I, I um, so essentially the rhythm method is just like y'all. Well, I ain't going to say just like y'all know, like most people, most women do know. There's a time when you're ovula- ovulating and there's a time when you're not. Oh, and, okay. Okay, so you know what I'm about to talk about then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now, for, as far as go ahead, go that, ahead. I'm sorry, I keep on interrupting. No, you're good. So now there's certain there's set t- like I'll put it to you this way. There's set times and temperatures your body should be if you're gonna not because look me, I'm a strong advocate in the pullout method. I've been doing it with my partner for three years. And the reason why people are like, oh well, it's not safe because pre does that and the blah 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 blah. I practice semen retention. I make sure I do my Kegels. I make sure I eat right because I'm one of those people to where it's like I can hold it. And it, and if you practice it the way I practice it and you take the right herbs, I see your face. If you eat the right herbs, you should be fine. We three years strong. And <laughs> I don't man, know look, that, I purposely that maca root. Huh? <laughs> I said, I don't know that maca root. See, but I, I got that's why I got off of it. Because it's like okay. I didn't I didn't realize I, I didn't realize I needed like 
I, I take it when I need it. Decent. Like all these herbs I have, I don't just be running through bottles like that. It's like I take it when needed mm-hmm. because a lot of my vitamins and minerals can honestly come from the fruits that I eat. Like I eat is if you was to if I was to put like a receipt budget up of what I mostly get, or, or like a, a pie pie graph pie chart whatever it's called, eighty five percent of the food I eat is blueberries, and that's sad, but it's amazing at the same time. So at the point you're really not going to need a lot of these herbs because you're just eating right. You're just eating that well. You know, you, anything you're mm-hmm. detoxifying is the environment or you had a cheat day or, you know, you just slipped up or this, that, and the third, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, the rhythm method is essentially avoiding ovulation and watching the body temperature before you have intercourse. And just, y'all, just stop letting people blast the club up because also that's right? like, the pH balance. That's really not um, good. At all. Like, at all. Um, I think, I think that, um, so as far as, I've never heard it called the rhythm method. Am I missing? Am I missing something? Okay, but- I'm a- I'm a break. I'm a let me see because I can, I, I can break I, it I know, down. I know here. what you're saying though. Like, so you're going by ovulation when you're ovulating. So I take a very physical approach to it, and maybe mm-hmm. this is the safe to me the safest way, even besides birth control. Um, mm-hmm. I think that it's better to actually physically track your ovulation. There are yes. little just like pregnancy yes. tests. Yeah, you have you have the little. Um, they're usually like paper little tests, and you pee in a cup, you stick it in, and you look at it. I think that that's better than. Why are you saying it like that? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> well, because well, no, no. That... You know what? I understand because not everybody is as well disciplined as people like us. No, I understand why exactly. you're saying it because the average exactly. person. They because can I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here either and say that I have. That's not what I have. I haven't relied on that, but I knew yeah. where I was physically, like actually seeing where I was and where my hormones are, according to that test. Am I ovulating? Is there an egg there? Am I high or am I low? Yeah. Like that's why I'm 26 and got no kids either. Like I'm not just out here and I'm not taking birth control, birth control either because I know before I decide, uh, Mister Sir, before I decide this, I'm going to go ahead and check because you're not gonna, you're not gonna give me. Okay? No, I, I feel it. And my bad if it's taking me a long time to get to the actual definition of what they have in this book. This book is like over, literally over. 800 pages so i'm just like trying to take my time to get to it because no, no i'll be all. all over on this book but essentially what we're saying y'all that's that's exactly even what she's saying if you want to add that into it that's another for that's... Like, rhythm the rhythm method is so per- interpersonal you know it can be whatever it is for you that's what it is for you because you gotta think about it too men actually aren't supposed to be ejaculating as frequently as we are have been trained to do because like mm-hmm. when you're releasing that much amount of minerals and vitality and stuff like that you literally start creating problems for yourself because at a certain point you run out of actual semen so it has to make it on the spot so it's pulling from the bones it's pulling from the blood it's pulling from the pituitaries it's pulling from all these other organs and glands so you're just digging yourself in a hole honestly so calendar method is also uh, that's what i've heard it as and see, yeah, ex- exactly the exactly the borderline the same thing and i'm still trying to get to it i'm on page 536 <laughs> ciao I'm sorry best y'all. books for um holistic be- beginners let me check my i think that the beginning hold on you said the beginning book i got one if you uh if you if you can't think of one on the spot literally the one i'm turning in right now uh mine is the encyclopedia of herbal i'm gonna have to get that what's it called encyclopedia of what it's the encyclopedia it's encyclopedia wow blessing can't talk (laughs) the encyclopedia of is it aren't these all supposed to download all over across all of your things wait that again like when you add a book to i ibook because i use ibook me and ibook be like this um Mm -hmm. our book the bookstore whatever for this it's when you download a book um it should go across all things but i don't see it on here yeah, it's the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. I think that, that one is the easiest one to read when you are just starting. It is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get on that. Yeah, let me show you guys. Ooh. It looks like this. Don't call. And you can okay, download you it for free. You don't have to actually buy it. How about that? Encyclopedia about to look at it right now. of Herbal Medicine. Actually, please. I think I have one right here. I'm about to say, please put that in the um in the comment section. Maybe I don't. 
Okay, I found a. It's you know what's funny? I found the scientific version uh, with the definition of it, and it's saying essentially the same thing we said. The rhythm method, also called the calendar method, or the calendar, calendar method, method, yeah, is a form of natural of natural family planning. To use the rhythm method, you track your menstrual history to predict when you'll ovulate. This helps you determine when you're most likely to conceive. Essentially, to say, actually, we went more into detail than the, the actual definition says. And they say you can't learn nothing off TikTok. Thank you. Self civilization <laughs> at its best, one on one. Y'all better recognize. Mm, 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 mm. And what's the name of that book again? The Encyclopedia of what? Of herbal medicine. The Encyclopedia. The Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. Because mm-hmm. I, since I got my iPad open, I might as well. I might as well uh, at least write it down. They gonna say the Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole cuisine. Get up out of here. <laughs> Andrew uh, Chavier, that's how you say it? Yep. Or Ch- Chevalier? Uh, Chevalier, yeah. I have to say it. Okay, I got it. I'm going to get it. See that book, it question. has almost every herb you can think of. You can possibly well, I'm going on it tonight because I got an herb oh. book too by Dr. Africa, but this one, I'm going to get it tonight. I, I think really... that's what um Chelsea just said. She said, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Africa's books, Dr. Africa's books, they are uh, coaches, are in coaches' bio. Mm-hmm. How you can see... Chelsea, she being a better. She over here. Because I told, I tell you when I, I feel like when I go live, I feel like everybody just they don't. They're in here. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Are you serious? They That's just tough. like. I'm like, are y'all list? Y'all awake? Hello in there. <laughs> Talk to me. Talk to me. So will your body's vitamin D levels increase because your body's absorbing better? Of course, definitely. Correction. What helps men stop reverse falling? I think we already talked about that. Good question. Good question. Okay, a lot of compliments. There should be a mandatory minimum that's longer than six to eight weeks. What y'all talking about? Question for okay, I think I'm caught up on questions now. I'm not I'm not seeing no more messages. It'd be moments like this while I say that and then questions just start flying up out of nowhere. No, seriously, then you come back in this like but yeah. Yes. Look um, and it just did it. It just it see it loaded. God, dog, it's not scroll taking, all the way back up. Taking all, okay, herbs, and the tightness. Um, we've talked about, well, I've talked about slippery elm, marshmallow root. It's something I really don't talk about. Ashwagandha. Wait, what was the question? Uh, to talk about um, wetness or tightness. Um, oh. I personally don't believe in tightness. You're not going to tighten your muscles. You are. You're not going to tighten the vaginal canal. You can tighten the muscles though and strengthen the muscles with kegel balls and things Talk of that nature it. but Talk usually you don't it. have to do that i'm gonna say honestly it's with within like after you've had a baby that's usually when you want to strengthen your muscles but uh, i think Can that, I add something it, to that oh no, yeah. no you still talking my bad. You, you i was gonna say i talking. feel like i was gonna say i feel like men are the ones that make women feel like we need to tighten uh, the muscles but they're actually supposed to be relaxed when you're comfortable with the person that you're with Child, so yeah. How they want that, but you know what? I'm gonna be quiet. I almost said something that that will make a lot of people ego shatter. I'm not even gonna say that because we're trying to be. <laughs> I already people. know where you were going with that. Let I me. follow. I follow. What um, the hell? But, um, that's not the same one you put on earlier. Hold on, you switching the game up. That's not the same one you had on earlier. Mm-mm. Tell me the difference. <laughs> I'm a, see, I'm we, we're working with Fenty right now. This is okay, just Fenty. Okay, okay. This is a little dollar. This is a Fenty. Okay, I'll pass it. I didn't say one. I was going to work for Fenty. Come here. I got to look nice for these people. Hey, y'all. Um, um, Sabor dermatitis. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Sabor dermatitis AIDS. Like, Wait, say it again? She said Sabor dermatitis AIDS. Th- that was that's kind of that's kind of if and that at the autoimmune so that we were talking about earlier but i mean it essentially ties to yeah. everything we said to the lymphatic system and that's another thing too y'all when y'all like really look at i broke it down a few weeks ago really th- really look at the wording of things if they say poly it means many you know say cystic that means like the lymphatic system if they mean syndrome the symptoms of your disease like really look into the terminology and how things are actually like spelled out and you'll realize that it's basically the same things over and over again, just a different variation of something not functioning properly. Yep. Specific she said, specific talk more about the retention. Oh, no, say, say what you were saying. Uh, for thin nails. Um, 
I mean, I think that thin nails are just like, it's another thing that's pretty much showing that your body isn't creating. I mean, you know what I mean? I feel like it's another way that you're, it's, it's not that you have thin nails. It's that mm-hmm. there's something the within your body that is mm-hmm. also coming. That's not strengthening your nails. So mm-hmm. the vitamin D will help with that yes. in actual vitamin D. Um, you yes. can actually going outside can help with that. Um, yeah. And um, <clears throat> calcium and um, calcium. What's the other one? What's the other one? What's the other one? It's calcium. To, yeah. and, uh, I can't think of it at the moment. Calcium and what is the other? I just thought about it. You, see, you said vitamin D and then they checked it off. because like, duh, that's the ultimate one. Vitamin D, calcium. There is another one. I know that calcium iron also calcium. can have your um, nail splitting. Are you thinking of oh, vitamin? you got me thinking and I cannot think of it at the moment. I'm so mad. It's gonna, and then watch it's going to come to me later. Phosphorus? I'll be like, what? I've no, 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 no. It's <laughs> calcium and potassium. Potassium. It's potassium. It's a potassium deficiency as well because they have to bind. They the way they bind together helps the nails refortify themselves because it's not that it's it's essentially bone bone health because nails are bones. It's just very mm-hmm. thin bones. Right. Uh, low iron. Yeah, that's why I said low iron. Your iron can also. Um. I I'm not really a fan of biotin though. That's why. Neither me. It. It's so aggressive. It is so yeah. aggressive. Biotin comes in and just it, it does what know. it want to do, but that's because exactly. it's so it's so synthetic. It's like it's it wants to be so natural and they have natural properties to it. But when that mm-hmm. synthetic side kick in, your kidneys don't know what to do with that. That's exactly. why I like people that say, "Oh, wow, my hair is growing and blah blah blah." Yeah, that's true. But what you're not realizing is them kidneys and that liver working yeah. overtime. They ain't clocked off yet since you started taking exactly. It. How do you take all of these teas and supplements? Are these taking daily or different protocols? Different protocols. But at the same time, like I said before, do what's needed. Like the protocol exactly. that I have is for a specific gland. So target your glands and your organs. That, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier too. A lot of people are like, you talk about all these things. You take these every day, everything. I'm like, no, 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 no. There's certain things. And also, according to just being a woman in general, you are on a 30-day cycle. So at, like you're literally on the moon cycle. So you have different things during different times and different weeks, different days yes. that you should be taking different Yes. supplements herbs different things yes. like that prime example we in a, we're about to transition into a spring equinox gravity is about to mm-hmm. shift seasons are about mm-hmm. to shift y'all iron mm-hmm. levels are about to shift dramatically vitamin d mm-hmm. bro i get so excited for spring because i finally get to be back in the sun how i want to because i hate the cold and when them, you could feel the vitamin d just rolling in like oh I'll that's how it was when when i first moved to arizona from minnesota i was like what kind of sun y'all using because yes. hold on I yes feel it different. feels so good is it mm-hmm. in it like I remember I was so mad. I forgot I was mad and sad about something. God walked outside. This what happened with sunrise. I forgot what I was mad about. That sunlight hit you the right. And that's like, and that's another thing too. Here's a key: if y'all are light and are sun sensitive, y'all have acid rolling through y'all body, and y'all need to detox. If you can't be in the sun for a long time, you got too much acid inside your body. You got to. And the sun is heating up, so the more acidic your body is, the worse you're gonna feel. You're you're literally cooking yourself. How long does there's there's more to that, but oh man, you could dive in. I'm just looking at these questions as you go. I'll probably get banned if I started talking about that. (laughs) They'd be like, Yeah, get her off of here. Get out of here. (laughs) Yeah, she's talking too much. How long does the stinging nettle root take to kick in and what branch should you get? So I put well this okay, I'll say this. You can get the version I was talking about, which I need to get more of. Um, which and I'll tell you this one is more so for get you can either get this one, you can get the tincture version that she was talking about or the tea that she was talking about. And I, I, I don't really like when people ask how long it takes because it depends on the person. Because I, I want to give you a time period, but I know my body receives differently than yours. So I would say roughly a week or two. Just, and don't and well, don't rush into it. There, yeah, there's that. But I've also, um, I've also learned for whatever, I think a good way to kind of gauge it is whatever ailment, however long you've had your ailment, a month of that herb per year that you've had it. So if you've exactly. had... Uh, issue with something if you've had an issue um with your i don't know what what they were saying uh, your nails for five years give it five months and see Mm -hmm. see at the end of that five months is there a difference yeah because it takes a lot of time to reverse things that you've been because you gotta think about it whenever things actually reach to the outer parts to where they manifest on the skin that means it's been festering for a while on the inside exactly look good on the outside but on the inside is like it's like 
that's why I tell people too, and don't get me wrong what I'm about to say, but it's like if you somebody that brush your teeth a lot and floss and all that good type of stuff and you're doing it naturally, if your teeth are still have a yellowish tint to it, don't feel bad because bones are yellow. You know, and your teeth is a bone. It's a, it's not a bad thing. Now, when you start getting, oh, let's talk about it. I just thought about it. That was the, bro, when you had posted that video, that dude with that tongue scraper. Oh, my God. And you know what's the crazy part? Because I do that. The crazy part is, I don't know about y'all, but I brush my tongue thoroughly. So, like, even when I brush my tongue thoroughly and then do the scraping, that don't be coming off. Not that don't that don't come. I don't know. There's some people on. that said that that was just food buildup. I said y'all spit be clumpy like that. <laughs> no, that is disgusting. What? That was <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, I was like and, only y'all. And then a lot of women like, oh, well, why do why do I have yeast infections? Tell him mm. open his mouth. Tell mm. him to open his mouth. What is going on in his mouth? At least put some mouthwash in there. Something, something. Cause that, I'm that, gonna need that, him to um, get that together. When you had posted that, I almost threw up because he was like. They don't. They don't tell you that's all on there. And I'm sitting there like, like that should not be there. That should not be that. Much. That imagine his actual gut health though. Now, like that's it's uh -uh. showing on your tongue. It's your gut health that it, that came from. How you feel about blood is how I felt about his tongue. <laughs> Cause look, ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. I promise you. It's hard to find seeded grapes and watermelons. It is, but at the it same is. time, where do you, you know find yours? I don't. I Luckily for me, Luckily for me, the good part about where I live out in the, in the South, we have a place called Fresh Pickens, and it's strictly local farming. And then on top of that, there's, they have like a, we don't have like a regular Walmart. We have what's called a neighborhood Walmart. We do have a mm -hmm. super center that's on the other side of town, but um, the neighborhood Walmart is, is for the, the, the people. So, they, of course, they're going to get the best versions of it. And, child, mm -hmm. when I saw them seeded grapes, I went crazy. I went, I, just, I bought up the, almost the entire section because, look, one thing I'm going to get me is a grape. Is a good grape at no. that. Yeah, we don't. I haven't seen that anywhere here, anywhere at all. That's why I tell people collect your seed. Just start trying to grow them yourself because if you, if they're scarce, and you know what, my girlfriend actually had this really good ideology, and I, and I dare say it might actually happen. She was like, "What if they're pulling away all the unhealthy, all the healthy stuff to make people get used to eating healthy, and then they're gonna promote the healthy stuff later that they've been hoarding to put the healthy stuff back on as a market employee?" And I was like, "Yo, I never thought about it like that." That but makes like, a lot of sense. No, that makes they, a lot they of pulling. sense. They are. The only right reason now. I would say, I mean, I think, I mean, it's the, it, it kind of comes in like where how I was saying with the Tampax, like you are selling mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. things. So yeah, it makes sense. But the people, are, but they're going to hike up the price. So it's like, oh, it's better for you. Like I could very easily be like, oh, well, my product is so good for you. I made it $50 per jar. You get what I'm saying? Because it doesn't have any of this, 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 and this, and this. And that's what they're doing when they say, oh, well, you can get the, you can get the, the normal brand or you can get this, this um, organic, but it's going to be $10 per box. Just $10. pulling up people's emotions. You know, it's annoying. If you ain't rich, it's annoying. That's why I be look, even even with all the stuff that helps that's coming out, I'm still looking for it on a budget. I'm still looking because, like, one of the biggest things I had to give up was oatmeal. Love oatmeal. But it's just not good for the body. You got to switch to spelt. Spelt is way it, better. But to find spelt, it's too. hard. You got you say what? It's terrible for, your, terrible for your teeth, too. Oh, trust me. I figured that out the hard way. And I got, I had severe constipation. It was bad. It was mm -hmm. bad, bad. What's the benefits of Damiana? Um, libido is really good for your libido, and it's why you made that face. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm about to say why you made that face. It's good for libido, and it's good for your reproductive uh, organs. Essentially, it's gonna help with your hormonal balance. But you know, we see organs the way it we help it helps y'all understand what's really going on. I asked before, but would love to hear your thoughts on repairing fallopian tubes after STDs. You need a flush. So I always tell mm -hmm. people this: you need to your let blood. your body rest. Before, you say what? I'd say you need to cleanse your blood. That's the first thing that you need because there's so many pathogens once you start getting into that. But go ahead. So essentially fasting is the key. Reasons why I have the raw food protocol in my bio. Like but for people that have like STDs and stuff mm -hmm. like this, I, I say tackle the same thing too. Pituitary gland, you go to get my pituitary protocol. You can get the lymphatic protocol right after that and then get the raw food protocol because essentially you're preparing the body for a fast. You're preparing the body. 
you want to enrich it as much, even though it may not receive everything because it's, it's, it's a little offline right now, but you're still going to flood it with good nutrients. So when you activate the fast, essentially your body is going to start tearing away at all the toxins because it's going to go for the toxins first. It's going to get all that out of the way, and then you're going to give your body time to rest. You got to think about it. If you're eating stuff, solid stuff, every day, every day, every day, your body has yet to rest because it has to digest. It's it has to twist. Huh? Like, it doesn't just, it's not just gravity. Your colon and your, in your, um, in your intestines is literally doing this all day. Even, like, the blood, like, the heart is a valve. It's not, it's not the thing that's, like, yeah, you, the blood is, is oxygenating the blood and getting it to where it has to go. But the blood actually stops, like, after, once it passes through the heart, it can only push it a few feet. So what happens is the muscles in our body constrict to move the blood even more. So your body is constantly working and working and working. So after you enrich yourself with the protocols that I talked about, and then you go on the fast, you can either do a dry, you can do a wet. Dry meaning no fruits and no nothing, no water, no nothing, just drying it out, or, which I take the time with that. Or you can do the wet version, which is just fruits and um, fruit juices and stuff like that. Now you're giving your body a little bit of something, some nutrients, and then it also speeds up the detoxification process. And viruses and stuff like that can't, can't dwell off of fruits because they're not from that homeopathic sense. So with that being said, they're more on the acid side, but you're promoting an alkalized diet. So you start to eradicate it. And not granted, it's going to take some time. Reasons why I make people go through three protocols because the amount of time it's going to take you to finish those three is the same amount of time it'll take for you to get all of that stuff out your system. It's a it's a long game. It's not a it's not a microwave generation mindset. Especially like when you're working think. with herbs, I th- I feel like people yes. expect herbs to work the same way that um, like conventional medicine or pharmaceuticals are going to work. It's not going to work the same thing because it's not coming in robust honestly it's gonna it. come I love in world and robust. exactly I love it's 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 gonna come in and be like huh i can fix this huh i can go over here and do this hmm you don't need this part of the herb so let me just go ahead and expel that so mm-hmm. there's yeah there's a lot to when or when you're taking herbs it's a lot more than just coming in and fixing it it's gonna fix everything okay yes <laughs> I, lo- I love it i love it i love the exchange <laughs> Somebody say natural raise natural ways to raise your C- CD4. So okay, in molecular biology, because we gotta break this down, CD4 is a um, glycoprotein, right? And then that serves as a core receptor for the T cell receptors, right? So CD4 is found on like um, the surface of the what they call the immune cells, but essentially our lymphatic system. Give me a second, I gotta really search my brain for this. Uh, our lymphatic system. So like, what's happening is you need to target your lymphatic system, essentially like, like we would say with the fasting and the fruits and stuff like that. But when it comes down to specifically T, what they call T cells and stuff like that, I really, really, really implore you to dive into coconut water and berries, coconut water. And that exactly, because the, here's the thing about coconut water. It's really fat. It's the fat of the, of the herb. I mean, of the herb, of the, of the plant. So the chemicals that's in there, target the lymphatic system and helps break down certain lipids that your body needs to reproduce all of these things so if you don't attack it on a molecular level you'll you'll never it's just it's not going to come back it's going to be really hard and plus you got to be outside a lot you got to soak up as much sun as possible because if not because there's a difference between the hormonal uh vitamin d that we get and the ius you get from uh vitamins and synthetics and stuff like that so couple that get you some supplements be outside coconut water and a bunch of berries and then you'll you'll be fine Let's see. I'm loving this. You guys have a, have gave me a reminder and a sign. Thank you. That's great. My baby was going was born with gray hair. Is that normal? It depends. Like I said before, it's not necessarily that it's normal or not. It's more so that there might be a deficiency or it's just one of the beauty markers that God decides to give that child. You know, it just depends. That's why blood work, blood work, blood work, blood work. Um. Um, somebody asked, is activated charcoal good for a detox? I think that activated uh, charcoal is good for a detox, but you have to have a lot of water while you yeah, are. Yeah, glad you said it. Glad it will just it. sit or else it will sit. It'll just sit in your, um, in your digestive system. And you, uh, again, you're just going to absorb it right back. So you really need to be passing a lot when you're taking it. Let me tell y'all something. Trying, it's just reverse. It's, you're not doing anything, really. Exactly. I made the mistake of doing that. Child, I was constipated literally for three days. It was bad. And when you pass it, I hate to be so graphic, y'all, but when y'all pass it, it hurts. I'm not even going to lie. It hurts so bad. Like, Have you ever had a hydrocolonic? You said what? Have you ever had a hydrocolonic? I want one so bad. And the I did it. it out here, they closed down because of COVID. Oh, oh man, and it was actually affordable. They wasn't charging like four, five hundred dollars for it. They closed. I know. I got mine for forty. How? 
on Groupon. You know what? My mama did tell me about Groupon. I need to. I need to get that in my life. Okay, so I did. So I did because it was also when I was just learning. I think it was like maybe four years ago. Now, um, I did. The, it was when I was taking a lot of charcoal because I heard it was really good for detoxing, and I was constipated. And I went in, and the lady, as she's putting the water in, it's not uncomfortable at all. But as she's putting the water in, she's like, "Okay, you should be passing now." And she's like, "Yikes, you're really yeah." She's like, "It's pretty." It seems like we're kind of hydrating your colon first. When I tell you, and not to be graphic, it, the tube was like this big. Mm-hmm. I promise you, what I passed was about that big, mm-hmm. all in the back room. And I was like, oh, and she's man. like, yeah, you can go back tomorrow. She oh, told me I could come back the next day <laughs> because it was that bad. I had, because I, I don't think I'd had hot Cheetos, uh, hot Cheetos a long time. I used to, I'm a fan of those, but mm-hmm. um. It used to be a fan of those, but um, that also was coming out. And I was like, I had that maybe a month ago, maybe two weeks ago. I'm see, and I be trying to tell people that's how long I went testing. So that stuff. Yeah, I was like, yet. why is that still in there? Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah. You know what? That... I challenge everybody in this in this live right now. Just so y'all know, we not we not telling no lies. Just for like a day or two. I bet yeah, just for like yeah, just as long as you can. Don't eat nothing. Starting right now. Don't eat or whatever you eat. Let this be the last thing you eat. And only drink chlorophyll water or uh, distilled water or spring water with lemon in it. Only do that until you have your next bowel movement. And you'll be surprised what flies out of you. You will be surprised. I did and that for, and I'm talking I about it, 16 yourself. days. I think Ooh, I did that for boy. 16 days. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, but, I mean, as as you go, it gets a lot easier to do it. But mm-hmm. even then, I was like, this is amazing. Like, your skin, my skin was smooth. For all of the women who think that they have oily skin or big pores or whatever it is, if you go on a water fast, your mm. skin looks like glass. It looks mm. like you, it, you look poreless, okay? So exactly. if you are and that's really for everybody. Just, yeah. I was, I was astonished. I was like, wow, this is amazing. But you have to ease into going back into eating or else you will throw up. And I know Child. that because I threw up. <laughs> Let me tell you about my dumb behind. It was 2000 and 2008, 15, 16. 15, 16. Called myself having a, I came off of a fast. We were doing for our church. And I had Popeyes after that seven day fast. Child, I was so sick. I was so sick. It didn't make no doggone sense. Throwing up, diarrhea, like headaches, dizziness, couldn't walk. It was bad. Because you had purified oh, yourself for so long. And it's like, hey, let me put this crap back in here. And it's like, all right, something not right. Something is, something is not happening. So okay, somebody said, how long should I do a water fast? I recommend doing it for the first three days. Try it for three days. After yeah, three don't days, go, no go back to eating. Then try it for five days. Then go back to eating. And then go back to maybe seven, eight days. Then go back to eating. You don't want to be, don't be hard headed. I feel like you and I did the did the uh, the hard part for people. Just diving in. In the sense of yeah, just going in and mm-hmm. doing it. No, you are gonna have the hardest time. And that's who. And then what she's saying, go back to eating. Don't be eating no junk. Like yeah, lean don't yourself eat back onto fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. Because if you eat junk, you will pay for it. I promise you, and that's you a, will pay for it. That's a also a really easy way to help with the cravings so if you stop eating and then you start eating um fruits and vegetables and then you stop again and then you that's what you're constantly feeding your body you're essentially releasing all of the nastiness i like to say nastiness or all of the um the not i don't know the word the i don't, I don't know how to we follow, know, we follow you explaining it well we follow okay you, don't so worry. you're essentially releasing it all and then feeding your body good foods and then releasing it all and then feeding your body good foods so your body's you're training your body in a sense to crave better foods because right. you have that period of not eating so when it right. comes back you're like the more you eat foods that you don't want to eat the more you're going to crave those foods right or the, the healthy foods. I, I hate to call them eat. foods you don't want to eat, but no, you make you make a sense. Is it okay to detox while breastfeeding? Mm, you got okay. So the practical way to do it is to just eat better because you got to think about it. You're the very milk that you're giving that child. Say you're on like laxative herbs like cascara sagrada and stuff like that. 
that goes that your your milk is gonna be made from that. So you give that to that child, that infant, their body can't handle that. I promise you their body can't handle that. Not only does it dehydrate the child drastically, but you will have explosive diarrhea for about a week. That child's gonna get so sick. Yeah. So like just be be okay. very careful. Like just just start eating more fruits and vegetables. And chlorophyll water is still okay to consume whenever you're breastfeeding because it mm-hmm. oxygenates the child's blood as well. But I will say mm-hmm. this if you breastfeeding and you're trying to detox, um start your day off with some spinach. Start your day off with some lemon water, some spinach, and then drink I mean drink any berries after that. And then eat with whatever you plan on eating, because I know not everybody can just stick with it, but at least start your day off with a good balance of berries and you know some stuff like that mm-hmm. so where you can you can give your body a fighting chance. Also, um along with that a lot of I, I vitamin C is really good in that area too because mm-hmm. of the of it or aspect of it. Okay. Thoughts on chlorella. I think it's very similar to um chlorophyll it's really good for anemia same thing with spirulina spirulina is also really good for that too i'll be butchering that word <laughs> I be gonna, i'll be but i'll be butchering it spirulina like I, <laughs> for, for I mean, bro it's the southern in me be killing that like, word every good. time exactly that's that we could tell we could tell he is from louisiana honestly i have a lot of family in louisiana are you my cousin might might be might be and my, my people some hoes so it might be <laughs> oh, I'm just, be, Lord, I'm just gonna be Lord, honest. No. <laughs> my uncle, I kid you not, I'm not exaggerating when I say this. My uncle has literally over 40 kids. We probably cousins. Yeah, no, like for real. <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm looking at these questions too, sure. That might be that might be most of them. But I will say this before, because I don't want to be on here all night anymore. Because I know we, right. we still got lives. I will say this. Um, I want you to promote your stuff. I'll promote my stuff and then we can wrap it up. But I but I want I want people to want for all the new people I'm seeing up in here, let's just let them get involved in what you have going on because I feel like you have a lot to offer. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Repeat that one more time. Sorry. I was reading I was reading as you were talking too. Sorry. That's fine. Just explain once again for the people that don't know, explain your brand, your products, and where to find them. Okay, so I am blessing. My brand is Becoming Naturals. I make and curate um, holistic products. I also are holistic feminine healthcare, holistic um, products for skin. Um, I also sell feminine cups if you want to transition to that. Yeah, because ugh, pads are... Ugh. Okay, anyway. Um, that's my brand. That's what my, uh, my focus is mainly on healing the reproductive system of women. In all aspects, PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, cysts, um, and pretty much just educating people and women and informing women on their divinity, really. Um, Honestly. And that, that, that that's me. And that's she's amazing, y'all. Like, for real. Like, this this conversation isn't even 10% of what that woman actually knows. We have, like, to, we have, to, we have to have more conversations. You oh, are definitely down. coming on my YouTube. I'm down. I'm down. Just mark me down for whenever. Look, we'll you we'll talk in the in the DMs. Just let me know. We will. But um, before we wrap it up, also, my name is Coach Brian. Get your fine. I hail from Louisiana. I've been doing this for going on ten years. Um, my focus is really on the overall reversing of diseases because I don't really believe in disease. I believe in diseases, but we can reverse those. And the symptoms you may have, I make protocols. I have tea recipes. <clears throat> we have merchandise out right now. Y'all can go check all. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. So the um I coined uh you know how you talking about like the slip realm and all that type of stuff? So mm-hmm. I ran with that and called it the Splash Canyon crew. So I actually have I actually have t-shirts. I saw that. Y'all should go check that out. Um we got the t-shirts, we have the protocols, even in the link in my bio, all the herbs we're talking about, pretty much all of them are in that link. But feel free to go to our shops, go to our bios, click all that stuff, check out our stores. Because look, we put a lot of like she said before. It's the same on my end. We put a lot of time into this stuff. We process some orders all day. We trying to comment and get back with y'all, answer DMs, phone calls, all this type of stuff. Y'all bear with us. We are trying. We're not them big corporations we like Amazon not. that got two, three hundred people. It is just us and whoever we decide to work with. You know, mm-hmm. so like y'all, please give us some, give us some grace. We asking for grace, but ultimately, follow us, like us, share us, purchase from us. Everything that we're doing, everything that we're doing is going to be in the links in our bios. So please support mm-hmm. y'all. Please support. I have one question. One. Just because you've talked a lot about pituitary glands. Do you mm-hmm. use fast berry or vitex berry in any of your um in any of your um 
protocols. Mm -hmm. Um, it depends. So whenever it comes down to pituitary, I like to I like to lead them more so on a without saying too much. I like to lead them more so on a uh, on a fruit journey. I'll say that a lot okay. of the stuff that I have is more so to ta to tackle more so the hormone hormonal herbs rather than those because even though I do believe in I agree with you, purify attack the blood, purify the blood. I understand that, but no, also like the reason why I said that is because chastberry um directly affects with your pituitary gland. Right, and that's what I was about to get into. I just want to kind of segue that from that, for, but but yes, I'll say I'll say yes. I'll just say yes. Okay. For lack of better I was I was just wondering. Cause look, they, people be you got to spoon feed people these days. These days, I'll say that you just got to spoon feed them. I didn't fell in love with this. Oh wait, that's what I was supposed to do before we get off of here. Pull up, bye y'all. Look at her stuff. Wait, I gotta wait. Let me get the other one. Let me get the other one. Wait, where is it at? How do I do it? How do I do it, y'all? Wait, 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 wait. See, he's not farther than me. Oh, okay. Y'all, that's what that's. Yes, that's her problem. I'm gonna send. I'm, I'm gonna send you both of those. I'm I'm gonna get with you in the DM. I'm gonna send you both of those. You didn't messed up. You didn't messed up. You didn't messed up. And also for all y'all that's wondering what my detox program looked like. God dog, I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Can y'all see the full picture? Um, no, we can only see half. Um, but Dang. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna find hold up. I gotta find a way to do it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go, yeah. Oh I, sna I snatched her. I snatched all of the stuff out of there. For all y'all that don't know. I does this. I I said, give me, and that's the one I was telling Keely. That's one I was telling you about. And then she lost even more weight after that. And she actually was on like my uh, I was I first I do personal training. I don't do it as much now because I don't have as much time. But before mm -hmm. she moved to where she moved to, I ain't gonna put a business out like that. I was also training her too. So what y'all mm -hmm. seeing now is just her on the detox. When she did her other round, she wants to work out with it. I bro, and she just had a child. She just had it, and like I snatched her back so, so quick. Stop playing! Stop playing with him, y'all. Link in bio. Stop him. playing I'm with him. Yeah, better get with. Okay. <laughs> I have to post my my friend, but yeah, that's that's going. We are gonna wrap it up because me and her could be up in here till mm -hmm. ten o'clock. Could be up in here. We till could. 10 we, we about to wrap it up, y'all. I'm definitely gonna be getting with you in the DMs, and uh, also and likewise too. Whatever you want from me, we gonna we gonna work that out. I ain't tripping okay. on. I ain't tripping on that. But y'all, um, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a good one. Peace to the earth. Absolutely. Peace to the God. We going out. We about to. It's after eight o'clock, so I can't really eat like I want to. But I might give me some blueberries. I ain't gonna lie because I need. I need me a little something. I need me a little something. Even it's blueberries, y'all. I'm telling you, it's crack. It is crack. Like I, I could just eat it all day. But I'm gonna get off of here. We gonna, we gonna schedule something else. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Like it's just y'all just been. My family just been showing out, y'all. Like the views keep going up. The people that's coming in keep coming up. Like we thank y'all so, and thank y'all for the support. Like, thank y'all so you, much sir. for like, cause like, y'all, we really trying. Yeah, like a lot of people think, oh, we got Buku followers, we making a whole bunch of money. Not to get too personal, but it's like y'all be surprised how that, that don't work like that. So whenever y'all actually come and support our business, then it's it's, it's young black owned businesses of people trying to change the world. Y'all, that means a lot. Yeah, because we really trying to tackle the community in the best holistic way possible. So thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much yeah, for everything y'all doing. No, thank y'all so much for y'all time, man. Like y'all are y'all are amazing. She said thank you for the detox. Seven pounds down in three days. See what I'm saying? The proof is in the comment section. So I'm Here. saying, look, look, it is what it is. But we gonna we gonna get off. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the results speak for themselves. So I'm, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna stop talking. It's okay. It's, it's it is what it is. But I love y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you so much for coming on, man. Thank you. Absolutely. So much. Thank you for having me. Thank you seriously for having Always. me. Yeah, you already know I'm gonna go ahead and contact you because I love this conversation. It was yeah, very refreshing. We, we got this. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. Same to y'all. Peace. Bye. -bye.